ladies and gentlemen, about to come down the aisle. This is Tuesday Night Throwdown. If you're in the chat and you got yourself a hard on, then I know you're hardcore. I know you're hard. Day night. Game six. It's Tuesday night throwdown, you fuckbags. Stop, buddy. Suck him off. And the logo still says Thursday. Somebody fucking fix that! Fix that! Get my prick. What's wrong with the audio? People saying something's wrong with the audio? What's wrong with the audio? Why does the audio sound like that? Why the fuck does the audio sound like shit? Why does the audio sound like it's fucking... Uh, 1999. We're coming through fucking real talk audio. Uh, you sound fine to me, other than the fact that the lack of sounds, uh, you know, drown you out. Really? That's really weird, dude. Sounds like a phone. People are saying, yeah, yeah. Like I'm, I, I hear it. I heard. I just played back the live stream, and I went, "What the fuck is the audio doing?" You know, what's weird is I heard this earlier doing something else. I heard the audio and I was like, dude, am I, is this, it sounds like a fucking, like a live streaming site from 1999. It's very strange. Hmm. Let me blow, let me, let me hear this. Mm-hmm. We're coming through fucking real talk audio. That's weird. Uh, you sound fine to me other than the fact that the lack of sounds, uh, you know, drown you out. Really? That's really weird, dude. Sounds like a phone people are saying. Yeah, yeah, like I'm I, I hear it. I heard I just played back the live stream and I went, What the fuck is the audio doing? That's really weird. You know what's weird is I heard this earlier doing something else. I heard the audio and I was like, dude, am I is this it sounds like a fucking like a live streaming site from nineteen ninety nine. It's very yeah, strange. Man, it hmm. it. It's really weird, man. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you guys. I have no idea what the fuck's up with the audio. Uh, but it's not that bad, so I guess I it, it, at least it doesn't sound that bad to me. But um, it did it yesterday too. Costanza says this might. I don't know if it's got something to do with YouTube or if it's or if it's me or I don't know. Huh? It's weird. The bit rate looks normal to me. The audio codec is right. It's yeah, weird. I was about to say maybe you went from like sixteen to twenty four bit or some shit. Or yeah, it's really weird though. I hear it. Yeah, I it, it, at least it doesn't sound that bad to me. But um, it did it yesterday too. Costanza says, "Yeah, man, it sounds like fucking real talk audio from like 1999 or 2001 or something. I don't know. Anyway, fuck it. Huh. Yeah, 
Everybody can I hear me. I think it was doing it on your other stuff today. I've heard it before. It could be maybe the mixer is shitting itself. You know, that could be a pro- it could be a possibility. Yeah, you have so many fucking things. You just like you have to look yeah. through. Like, is it this? Is it that? Yeah, well, I feel be. like Fuck we would hear. I feel like we would hear that on this end though. If it was so? the mixer. Yeah, he sounds good. At, like, like in the Skype call, everybody sounds good right now. Well, tonight, uh, man, I've got the claw in the house, motherfucker. Oh, right I need here. to make a drink as well. Shit. I got the goddamn claw in the house, motherfucker. Um, yeah, we've been tearing it up on uh, Throwdown until uh, a couple weeks ago when we had, uh, what do we have, uh, fucking, um, I don't know, I like started a show at midnight a couple weeks in a row, so tonight is our return to before 11 p.m. Uh, for Throwdown, <laughs> so Damn sorry, right. man, I don't know what the fuck that was about, I hit up Troy to see what was up with him tonight, let me see here. What's up, Alex? What's up to the chat? How you guys doing? Um, all donation alerts are on. I'm drinking the claw no matter what. And uh, Jesse J has a giant erection. So that should be good. I've got a giant surge. Oh, yeah. Speaking of uh, 1999, <laughs> the audio. Yeah. Oh, my dude. God. I haven't seen surge in for fucking ever. <clears throat> I don't even know if they sell it in California anymore. I've, uh, <laughs> yeah, I've had a lot of surge, man, recently because they sell it up the road now. Yeah, the guys down the street, I think they're uh, related to a Wandy. They sell these. Nationals just hit a home run. Boom. We're going game seven. Then if they, if they, yeah. if game six happens, if they win and if Astros win game six, then JB will never hear the end of it. Uh, game seven, though, man. <laughs> I, now, remember, does everybody remember who said game seven? Does everybody remember who said there'd be seven games? That's right. Joe Cronin. Sorry. Lost my mind there. I said Nationals in five, so I was way off. I don't even know what the fuck. I, I was just fucking guessing. I was like, you know, there'd probably be like fucking seven games. Only because five it was so two. close, man. I'm telling you, the Nationals can get hot out of nowhere, but the Astros are more well-rounded, I feel like. So it's like a fucking, it's a goddamn, it's a, it's a bar fight right now. Look at those. I just want to see the Nationals win without what's his fuck, uh, and I blank on his name now, but the dude who left last year looking for a championship team. Oh, yeah, yeah. Bryce Harper. Imagine a ball just goes up and fucking hits Donald Trump in the head while he's in that press box and he falls out of the fucking thing and kill and lands on someone and kills them. And then the family sues Donald Trump for him landing on them. You know, something fucked up so, like that would happen. Sounds like a 2019 thing to do. Yeah. Did you hear the uh, the chicks that showed their tits Sunday night? on the during the world series you remember that one of them what? has a patreon and she has got yeah. like another 2000 patrons since then well she's got like really holy shit well yeah. she's fucking she, hot like you know a, a wandy's been sending me updates on her shit and it's uh almost a 10,000 patrons now he's gonna her stalk content her. on there the little bit i saw was just like nudes and shit so it's like she's selling her body online yeah, a lot of the girls are on Patreon doing that. They just send, they'll send you private photos to your house if you're like a hundred dollar fucking patron or whatever. I told him I'm gonna just set one up and just start showing my dick every day, <laughs> see how many people sign up. Maybe I I'll mean, get lucky. Fuck, I might start doing that too if we, uh, if if, if, if if we don't start getting some donations here pretty quickly. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking, I'm gonna start showing my dick on Patreon. No, I'm just kidding. No, uh, what's up to TTV Tree Hugger subscriber? How you doing? Now nah, this is Throwdown, not monetize this. Relax, relax, everybody. Um, what's up to the chat though? Derek Hans is here. Hal Snow is here. He's a fucking crazy cunt. Um, so you know, <laughs> shout out to him. All right, I'm gonna break into the claw. Here it comes, motherfuckers. Is the chat ready for the claw to be unleashed? The white claw. Now I do have crayon, but that's upstairs. I don't think I'm gonna go crayon tonight. I'm just going claw. I'm gonna make a Jack and Coke. I'll join you. Oh, I mean, this show could be a half an hour, Jesse. I wouldn't get wrecked for a half an hour show, but you know. Maybe you never it's know. Half an hour show. What the fuck am I doing here? Just yeah, kidding. I don't I mean. I, I, I don't know if it's going to be a half an hour, but I mean, I don't want you to get wrecked. And I'm like, hey, listen, I'm not. Good night. <laughs> yeah. Meanwhile, Jesse's I'll a, fucking. I have a rare weeknight drink. Why oh, not? I'm going to get snowed. Here in we anyways. go. You're going to get Edward Snowden. Yeah. <laughs> He's going to. Uh, fucking... We're supposed to get anywhere from one to eight inches. What in range? Huh? Oh, oh yeah. in rain. Okay. I'm like snow. No. No, in snow, yeah. What? I said, what a range. What the fuck is... Were you serious already? 
Yeah, yeah, we're gonna be walking in snow on Halloween. Actually, they're <laughs> looking to cancel Halloween around a lot of places here. I thought they were trying to move it to the weekends. They're literally trying to yeah. get rid of it. You know, well, I mean, get rid of it for Thursday, make it like Saturday. Inches. What? Rain. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, so what rain. I've been okay. hearing, like the last year or so, there's been a lot of talk about trying to move it to the weekends, so it's kids aren't running around during rush hour and everyone rushing home and apparently Rex car accidents are a lot higher on Halloween because of people being in a hurry. Oh yeah. And then the people that, that jerk off in the street. <clears throat> no, I just made that up. Uh, shout out to all the $25 producer level patrons. Um, if anybody wants to become a patron, uh, feel free to do it. There's a bunch of bonus shit. I put up a morning madness this morning. Um, and then also shout out to the newest producer level guy. Um, supporter Eugene G. What up to Eugene G? Uh, Gerald Armstrong, Jabroni Jabber Podcast, Jason Tar, John uh, Constipated Rock, uh, John Zippe, Joe of Lightsey, JR Ford the Third, Justin McNeil, Star Scream, Mikey Ducrecki, Nikki J, Ryan Peltier, Sith Negan, SoCom Castle, Talk to Me Nice, The Mayan Jinnabadin, The Bear, Triple M, uh, Freddie Mitchell, uh, Agnolia Strokelbean, Austin Cosey, uh, Wandy Big M, Big Fuego Jacob, Brian Harper, Chizikney's, Drew Barr, Dwayne Crenshaw, Eugene G, the new guy, Frog Kid, and Gary Metzler, all in the $25 and above category. You are fucking beasts who keep the shows going. Thank you. Love you. I love your cocks. Is there a difference between the blue names and the red names? Or there isn't. That's how you did it. There is not. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm just retarded. I just, hey, it works. I just wanted to, you know. Whoa, they're throwing somebody out in the game. There's like a fucking fight going on almost. Wow, they're really trying to keep Martinez away from that fucking Shut up umpire. And over. Holy shit. Finish oh, fuck. It. Can you hear these? Oh, my God. Don't finish nope. it. Please don't finish it. I'm going to finish it. Finish oh, it. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to yeah. finish the oh, fucking yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Finish the fucking thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> How was AEW Doc for you tonight, Joe? Saw you tried getting Cody's attention in the chat there, ha ha. But I did you see the Joe Cronin shirt that was in the Pitts Buff crowd during the last match between Darby Jack and Havoc? World Series has been lit. Did you say that there was a Joe Cronin show shirt on camera? That's fucking awesome. I did not see that. I actually, um, I was watching from my phone, so it's really small. So, wow, I fucking, I guess I should go back and check that out. Nega bands? Shut the fuck up, Leah. Shut the fuck up. I want to be the girl. No. Oh, my God. Ugh. What about now? You <laughs> hear these now? <laughs> nope. Motherfucker. God damn it. Barracuda, what's up, motherfucker? I want to be the girl. What's up, Barracuda? Ugh. <laughs> what the? <laughs> Fuckers. Hey, man, can you hear these now? Somebody suck him off. God fucking god damn it, these fucking goddamn alerts. Ding dong thing. Key. That's ding dong thing. Key. There we go. We got a ding dong thing with Justin Bailey. The sound wave. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. I'm drinking the claw. I'm drinking the claw right now, baby. The motherfucking claw. What up? Uh, Cheers, motherfuckers. I'll have to go look for that shirt. Yeah, I didn't think AEW Dark was very good until the last match, but, you know, that wasn't as good as Joey Janela, Kenny Omega, so... Yeah, it was a little bit of a week, uh, AEW Dark this week, but uh, hey, fuck myself. What's up, Barracuda? How you doing, man? I'm doing a lot better. I think I just heard a whiskey system. I I was going to say, I just heard a can crack. (laughs) Was that Barracuda? When I heard Barracuda was was on the call, I knew all four of us would be drinking then. Oh, you damn right. (laughs) Shit. I mean, give me a second. I've had Uh, a. You've got two. No. You got to drink it up. You got to yeah, drink it let me, down. Let me go turn my light on. I've been sitting in the dark for like an hour playing Modern Warfare. Man, I would... Do you, uh, does your name happen to be Barracuda? Does your name happen to be Jim Farmer by chance? Oh, God. <laughs> Nine. That's... Uh, dude, he's Drew, like, my he's a you gay. Said, you're like, that sounds like, a, like some motherfucker who would touch kids for sure. Whatever you said. Oh. <laughs> He, you know what's fucked up about that is if you pull a picture of him up, a recent photo of him, he yeah. kind of looks like an older Joe Compton. That's fucked up. Oh, shit. That is fucked up. It is, but hey, just call him a spade a spade. But uh, the yeah. dude, um, he's being arrested for sex trafficking. 
Fuck yeah. I mean, so that's crazy. Pretty close. That's gross, man. How old is he? 55. 54, 55, God something damn. like that. I just dropped the article. Somebody should shoot his ass. Well, he's <laughs> definitely <laughs> definitely going to get something in his ass. Oh, God. You think he's, he's going to get a cock in his ass, really? Either when he goes shit. to jail, it's either that or a hammer to the head. Sure, I was that's the shiv up his ass. That's the first ejection of the World Series. Someone just said, Is "Ever, really? I mean, of this World Series." Oh, I was gonna say there can't be. No, there. Yeah, people must have. Uh, yeah, I know. Uh, Dave Rose, funny. Someone in the chat, I think it's Shid uh, in the chat, was like, "Dave Rose has the biggest head." Yeah, I I gotta fix this. Even Dave Rose told me to fix this. He's like, Bailey and me are way too big. Uh, so I'm gonna. And then Tommy's like, I didn't even notice Tommy the first time I looked at this. Yeah, I didn't either. Well, he's an afterthought, you know. <laughs> but you know, uh, but no. So I got to shrink Dave a little bit because Dave was like, "Your head needs to be the biggest," and I'm like, "I know, I am the biggest here technically. If you like matched up me and then Dave, I'm bigger than him, but he is a little too big. He is very ominous with his fucking fudge packing Terminator glasses in the background there." I mean, he looks like any minute, like he's going to be inside of a guy right there. I have the exact same shirt Jake DeMarco has. What's that? The uh, gay one? <laughs> that, oh, that, black, one? that black and white striped one he's wearing. Right. right well, he'll get swatted again. No, but uh, Dave, <laughs> Dave, uh, Dave, it's just those glasses are just too small, man. They're really tiny. Mm. You know, they're really tiny. But yeah, so I'd like to fix it. And then make me bigger, according to Dave. I mean, Dave's idea. He's right. That's why I sent this fit, this photo to him. I was like, hey, dude, what do you think? And he was like, it's okay, but you need to make me smaller. And JB and everybody else. I'm like, oh, yeah. I get, well, but fuck it. It is what it is right now, motherfucker. It's game, uh, game six of the World Series. And I think the Nationals manager was just ejected. Yeah, Dave looks like he's going into the Gatrix. In this fucking photo. <laughs> Mr. Rose. I didn't want to make me too big because it looks, you know, it's kind of ridiculous, but I get it. You know, you're supposed to make yourself like, I'm the fucking me. I'm the host, so I'm the big guy. But um, so I guess that made sense. I was going to do that. But then I was like, eh, maybe I'll make a couple. You know, I figured Dave Rose and, you know, Bailey have probably been on a, the most shows. So I was like, all right, I'll make them the biggest. And Jesse's like in there. Jesse and Jake make them like the next tier. I even made Leah right. kind of small and she's been on a lot of episodes. <laughs> Fuck them all. Fuck everybody. Fuck us all. Let's blow our all heads up. Let's blow our heads up. First World Series managerial ejection since Atlanta's Bobby Cox in 96. Well, that, is, <laughs> that has been a it while. Looks like, looks like Dave Martinez got his money's worth. That's for sure. I wish he, dude, I want to see something weird out of nowhere. Like if he just kicked that guy in the balls out of nowhere. How fucking <laughs> hilarious would have that been? He just rears back. Worth and, the, that would be worth all the, the ejection. Oh, okay. shit. He shoved the ump back that was oh, trying yeah. to split him up. We won't see you in game seven. Yeah, yeah. see you later, motherfucker. That, I mean, Lose that's the, your pay for the World Series. Yeah, no, I, I think that sucks. You know, I think that, that I don't think you should be ejected for bumping them, although they will probably or they might not because it's if it was the season, he'd get like game or games for fucking. Or he'll get fined. He'll probably get fined. But yeah, it would be really great if uh, if he kicked him in the balls. I'll kick him in the balls. Uh, yeah. All right. You're, you want to do that? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. No sold. Okay, cool. Uh, I was typing. So I, I, I was in another world while I was typing. I was just going with it. It was nice to be on this end of the silence. Well, Barracode has been hit or miss like you recently. Like, he's, like, fucking hilarious sometimes. And then there's other times where he just says something, and you're like, what? But then there's sometimes... Or I get, or I get told that I'm I'm uh, apparently like Jesse or something like that. I'm just like, huh? Oh, yeah, nobody's, sometimes. Nobody's nobody, like uh, Jesse. Yeah, yeah. There we go. I'll, I'll make you like Jesse. Come down here. I'll fucking put some fucking... I'll stick some needles in your bones. Or just, you know, like... I'll put a just fucking dress on you. Yeah, just, you just gotta cut off like a quarter fucking of their leg. It'll be good. You wanna put a dress on me? 
I guess so. You want to put it? I guess so. That's not depressing. <laughs> I guess get so. It. Oh, I guess so. That's even creepier. Like if you had said yes or no, like it would have been okay. But like I guess no, so. Good. Tell them what size and tell them you know what kind of lace you want. And I want you to put a dress on me with a hole in the rear end. Yes. Just holes everywhere. Just fuck it. I'm going to put a uh, blonde wig on you as well. I was talking to Johnny Holes the other day, and I asked him if I could make a fourth hole in his body. Ooh. Yeah, Johnny did That didn't... could go a couple ways. Mm. Yeah, and I mean sexually. Oh, okay, good. No, I don't mean like put a bullet hole in him. No, I like Johnny. This is like, I was talking about... I like Johnny too. Yeah, I gave guy. him a kiss. I blew him a kiss. But uh, here we are. It's game six, and I'm drinking the fucking claw. I'm telling you what, man. The claw, somebody earlier was like, what's the best one? Dude, this watermelon one. I fucking love this shit. Mm. I can respect that. I've been tempted to kind of try it. but I, I didn't keep- want it because it started right as I was about to try it. It got, like, trendy, and I went, oh. And I was like, <laughs> this is gay. I don't want to fucking drink this. <laughs> Everybody still can't, can't get past those natural light strawberry lemonades or whatever. I actually tried one and I was like, "This is fucking disappointing." I'm glad I'm not. I didn't pay for I, it. I really? thought it was better than regular natural light, to be honest. It is better, but at the same time, I just felt extremely disappointed. Well, that's why I think it was so popular because people expected bad and got better. Right? Not that much better, but they're like, "Oh Which, shit, a natural light that I can kind of handle." Cool. Would you say it tasted like a uh, strawberry lemonade? Well, no. I mean, nothing with alcohol in it ha- has a has a perfect taste, you know, to it. I mean, if you make a, I don't know, anything with alcohol in it, it's not going to taste like what it's supposed to because it's going to have the alcohol in it and shit. But it tasted like a natural light with some strawberry and lemon flavoring to it. It's like some weird Jolly Rancher drink. Mm. Uh, Jesse, you drinking? I think he went yeah, to go get Jack it. And Coke. Oh fuck yeah! I got a uh, got some Kentucky gentleman right here. All right, motherfucker, you're drinking Jack and Coke right now. Yeah, I gotta get a, another fucking. I already finished my huge bottle I got three weeks ago. Mm. I literally that makes, Joe, that makes Joe the only one not drinking whiskey. Yeah, I was. I mean, I was gonna drink fucking water tonight. So like, I mean, you should be. This is lucky that I'm fucking <laughs> doing anything. And I I'm just like, had a oh. soda ready to go, and I'm like, yeah, you know what? If everyone else is doing it, fuck it. Yeah, you're like what one of those. What whiskey did you end up getting? Does it say what now? What uh, whiskey did you end up getting? Uh, it was always a Kentucky whiskey gentleman. And we're both drinking it. You know what I want to do is I want to put a crackhead in a rowboat and tell him that on the other side of the pond or something that there's crack, and then just see how fast he'll row. That is the most random thought. What else got? <laughs> I know. Oh, I don't know what the fuck. A little bit of the bubbly. That's it. That's oh, it. Bubbly? shit. Bubbly. Oh, oh, a little bit of the bubbly. That's it. <laughs> Honestly, this World Series has been fun to watch. Rooting for the Nationals to pull this shit off. Yeah, but my yeah. highlight tonight was the Bruins versus Sharks with Richie beating the shit Goodrow and making him his bitch. Yeah, baby. Fuck Patrick Kane, man. What a cunt. I tweeted out about him earlier. What a fucking cunt he is, man. What a bitch. He ran around in that game like a fucking girl. And then every time someone tried to fight him or do something, he fucking cowered like a fuck. Dude, what a pussy little piece of shit, dude. I hope fucking Evander Kane falls down a flight of stairs and breaks his fucking tibia. Fucking piece of shit. So that was fun. At least the Bruins beat the shit out of the fucking... How about those San Jose refs, you piece of fuck? Sorry. (laughs) That game pissed me off, man. I want to fucking choke Evander Kane or whatever his name is. God damn it. I want to choke him. How much money do you think it would take for you to do that? For me to do what? Choke him out. You mean to pay me? Like to do it? Yeah. I'd do it for free. I just thought. All right. All right. Cool. I I like this. I like this. I'll do it for free. I mean, I don't. Fuck. I'm not paying anybody. I'll do it. Fucking pay me to do it. Like, I mean, like I or no, I'll pay you to do it. I'd pay someone else to do it, but I'll do it for free. If I get a hold of them. Fucking that choke that fucking necklace off him real quick. Turn him into a fucking statue in the fucking middle of a fucking Florida airport. (laughs) 
Damn. I don't know. I don't even know what that means, dude. <laughs> Turn him into a statue at the fucking... What the fuck am I talking about? Oh, my God. I'm no. fucked up. I don't know, man. Yeah? I really don't know. <laughs> Thank you to the Soundwave, by the way, for the donation, man. Appreciate this story's that. local. This story's local to you, Joe, but the uh, Boston College student that committed suicide and his girlfriend, like, encouraged him to. Did you hear about that? Yeah. yeah. Another what? one? Yeah, when she's uh, getting charged with involuntary manslaughter. Is, it, just, is this a new one, or is this that other girl who, like, got already got put in prison? No, oh, this is it's an Asian chick. What's her name? Oh. In, in Young You. <laughs> yeah in young in young you in young <laughs> if she raped a if she had raped her boyfriend who was a oh never mind okay <laughs> he jumped to his death from the roof of a parking lot on may 20th oh my but god but i guess she had been like poking and prodding him for the longest time telling you you should just kill yourself if you're gonna be depressed just kill yourself and i guess she was even standing up there on the roof of the parking garage with him when he jumped <laughs> and she admitted that she told him we'll fucking do it. Basically 47,000 text messages. What did they looked at? No, that's how many, uh, in the 40, this is a quote from her in, in the 47,000 text messages I sent. Yes. There were many, many instances where I instructed him to do so. That's the, that's the biggest mistake right there is saying I instructed him. Like, it, where's her lawyer? Like, don't say fucking instructed, you idiot. Say fucking, yeah, I told him to kill himself. He told me to fuck myself. I don't know. Who cares? Okay, I guess that wasn't from her. That was from, I'm skimming this. Sorry. Whoever the fuck Rollins is. Yeah, look up the word instructed. Attorney. If I was the lawyer, I would have said, can you please look up the word instruct, instructed? Because it doesn't apply to this sentence. You know, like. I didn't order him. I didn't instruct him. They were having a uh, fight, and she told him. Like, it's the same thing as saying, I hate you, or go die, or we're done, or whatever. We're not, you know, it's a, it's a hateful, random thing. It's not an instruction. She didn't tell him, get up on the steps, and then put your fucking da-da-da, and then jump away, and then we'll be rid of you, finally, from this planet. And I hope you do it and I'll watch you, whatever. Like, if that's instructing. Like, just saying, go kill yourself. That's not instructing. That's a fucking just random fucking anger statement. Um, would you ag would you agree that like 99% of the people in this like country fucking say that to people? It's like there's so many things that I bring up as a lawyer. Like, get the fuck out of here. Well, and th that's that's kind of what I was going to get at with this is in her case, it sounds like, and that was the district attorney who said that, that there was 75,000 text messages, 47 of which from her. And there were many, many instances in which she had ins instructed him to do so. So I guess the district attorney had gotten a hold of all the records and well, such. Leah's but, going to so jail. Leah's going to jail. If I kill myself, <laughs> Leah's going to jail, like really badly going to jail. So with her, where she had done it several times, dozens hundreds whatever times what about the instance where someone says it once what about and the where's the line what about the instance if someone says hey listen go fucking go kill three people and then shit on their heads and then you do it is that person in trouble too <clears throat> and how is that like but, isn't freedom of speech protected there like well freedom of speech is protecting you from the government not what you say to someone else. Well, this is the government, though. The government's putting you in fucking the court. I right, mean, but the words that you said to someone else weren't words said to the government? I don't know. Maybe I'm misunderstood. You know what's fucked up is you can tell... You can literally go to someone's face and be like, yes, we will not... Like, we won't destroy your property while we're cutting down that tree in the backyard. But on the contract, if it says otherwise, like, you don't get in trouble. So contracts mean a lot more than fucking verbal words. But you're tell, but it's these, true. but these people are telling me that like a random fucking comment in anger, you'll get in trouble. But if you kill somebody in anger out of like passion, like you pretty much get away with it. Or if you kill somebody in anger because of something that happened, that can also be like, oh, you know, he killed a guy, but he was angry because this happened. They get or away stupidity. with it. Yeah, but just texting someone, kill yourself. I think Leah said to me, mm -hmm. die of a slow death.
Like I, I'm gonna when I die, I'm telling you, man, she's fucked. She told Bailey die when he didn't know who Ganondorf was. Yeah, so right. now Bailey dies and what now Leah's in trouble. Oh, <laughs> right. a little bit of the bubbly. That's it. Bubbly That's coming bubbly? in. Look at this stuff. Oh, oh, a little bit of the bubbly. That's it. I love it when Crystal Blue Thunder bombs my cock. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Crystal, uh, like, uh, like Tommy's Crystal? There's a couple crystals now that we know about. Wow, that's fucking... I want to fuck Debe until cum comes out of her fucking eyeballs. I think oh. Tommy needs to meet Crystal Meth. He might lose a little weight. That's oh, true. My, oh gosh. my Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I love Tommy. Yeah, me too. Almost wait, Tommy. Take that weight. Didn't work for Jonah Hill. Oh. Oh, it wouldn't work for you. Just stay that way. Stay right. where you are. Stay Random. away. Stay away from me. Uh, Josh uh, old man Davey in the chat says I hope someone poisons Drew's cheese and innocent uh, children die oh well see now, now you're in trouble Davey now see it, you, you're making it all worse for everybody because now everyone's going to say it now then I'm going to die tomorrow to of like, cheese or, like how don't you, how you die that? tonight everybody just simultaneously wish death upon me and then there's going to be so yeah. many people going to jail when I croak tonight. I believe you are the type that would that would listen to people and kill yourself. I think you might be actually one of those type. Of, <laughs> no, I'm serious. I'm dead serious. I really what think. Is that? I don't know. You just feel like such a fucking cuck sometimes. I feel like I could be like, you know what, Drew? Go grab a butter knife and stick it right in your fucking jugular so I can go down and be your new dad to your kid. I, and I, I think, think you're miss. <laughs> I, Jesus. I, swear I to think God. you're miss. I think you're misunderstanding cuck with someone who can just take shit. No, I just think True. that I just do it. I don't know what it is about you. It's just something I feel like you would shove. You would fuck yourself up for me. Like even especially for me, like you would almost kill somebody. Well, no, I would disagree with that. I don't know, man. Hmm. Something about you. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? The Shut up, JB. What we're talking here. I want to be the girl. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> that was from that episode of Corrupted that old man Davey was on. I want to be the girl. What the fuck was that, man? I don't even remember. It gets weirder and weirder. Saying that? Yeah, that's him. He said that. I want to be the girl. And then like a splash sound happened. Listen I to this. I don't remember that. It's like he's in a bathtub like with women's makeup on. And then he splashes the water. Listen. I want to be the girl. Ugh. Oh, that's what gross, Tommy. Yeah, it doesn't really even weird. sound like him to me. What the fuck? He, if he was the girl, he's going to be shitting way more than that. <laughs> it's really weird. Um, Dave, 25, went to Top Ropes training today. Wow. Did you uh, train with uh, Ryan Drew? Who did you train with? Ryan Drew, Nico Silva. Who was the trainer? Um, yeah, man, it was fun, you know, listening to that out of, uh, Davey, you know, it was very, very sensual. See, the longer that that we, we are away from that episode, the more I don't remember what that clip with the context of that was. So the creepier that clip gets, like originally it was just really funny, but now it's like becoming terrifying because I really don't understand why the fuck we played that clip. But, you know, hey, fuck it. I got to check the score. I, five to two still. I also got to tweet this show out. So bear with me one second. I'm going to be silent for a minute. Barracuda, this is your time to shine. Barracuda, why don't you die? Oh. Why don't you just say the word to another black man? How about that? What the fuck? <laughs> it's like I said the other night, Drew. Mm-hmm. Drew. Sure, sure, sure. How about you, well, Jesse? You, you're, uh, you're shining here, Barracuda. Keep it up. What about you, Jesse? Uh, you doing all right, man? Everything good? No. Of all people, <laughs> I love when people ask Jesse. Yeah. I'm sorry. I don't know what that, I don't know what you want me to say. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> it's like half of the viewers. I'm sure just because oh I said god. one sentence. Everyone's just like, um, I just love it. It's gonna be funny. 
I love when people ask, Je- "Hey, how you doing, Jesse?" Like he's gonna be like, "You know what? I'm at, I'm great." It's like, it's uh, today's not the day. I feel like good. killing myself. Yeah, I want to mm. want to be in hospice, but I'm great. Yeah, right. What else we got? Oh, Jeez. a little bit of the bubbly. That's it. Bubbly. Want some bubbly. Look at this stuff. Oh, oh, a little bit of the bubbly. That's it. <laughs> Drew, I just want you to know you are better off killing yourself. You would do us all a favor. Oh, my if you God. choke yourself with a garden hoe. Oh wait, what the fuck? I didn't mean it, officer. Don't send me to jail. I was just fucking kidding. Ah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> The Soundwave 92, my brother. I met him at the AEW show. 616, how you doing, man? He's on the phone. I'm doing pretty good, but I have no owner. No one wants to take me no more. I'm a lost pit bull. No owner? What are you, a fucking... What is this, night fucking... Never mind. Who is this? What? What? Why what do you mean you have no owner? This is Joe Blonin, and I'm you looking for... You need, like, an Uber to the pound or something? I'm, I'm looking for someone to take me over. Take you over? I'm willing to be a, a a great pit bull for anybody, but nobody wants me no more. Hmm. Gonna have to pass. Are you talking about sexually or like something else? Like what? Do you, what exactly? Like, because I'm trying to get to the point. Well, like, what exactly? You want to take him for a walk? He said he's a pit bull. Like, yeah. What is it you really want to do? Is is? Ooh. What, what, what do I really want to do? Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll always please my owner. It, it's, it's community. It's I will I will please him. I'll please you if you if you want to take me as your pet. Go ahead. I will please you, the and then fuck? I'll do whatever you want. Just I put some okay. peanut butter on my balls. Yeah, I was I was gonna say make sure you use the right peanut butter though. I want you to donate all your wife's money to me right now. <sighs> no, don't do okay. that. You want it? <laughs> Yeah, I want. He's, it. he's typing it in the Streamlabs right now. Wouldn't that be funny if he <laughs> if Joe Blone went and got his wife's credit card and donated it all to the show? All Five four thousand, ten thousand, something, whatever the credit limit yeah, is. Just you know, extend her credit line and then use it. Is that a baby? What baby? Blonin, do you have a kid? Uh oh. I got, I got two. I got a. I got a five year old and a and a one year old. You. That is fucking terrifying that you have children. You're a fucking psycho. <laughs> well, he, you never know. It happens. People, yeah. When he, when he, Joe, when you're he a fucking up, psycho, and you've got. Three. I'm not this. I'm not this happens. psycho though. When you put a penis into a pussy, babies happen. Sometimes. Okay. Well, listen. Hey, Blonin. Um, listen. I appreciate the offer, but I hope you choke on a dildo. Sometimes there's just miscarriages and shit. You know. Appreciate the uh, offer, Joe Blonin, but choke on a dildo, please. Mm. Don't, dogs should it's, not. It's, don't don't well. die when you're choking. Just choke on it for a Choke on it and then come. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> um, Big Melt also donated a dollar and said, I want to stick my tongue under Debe's anus while she's in the toilet, and I just want to shred her nuggets with a twirl of my tongue. Fuck! Why? What? Why does it even let you say that much stuff for a dollar? Although the the donation actually doesn't pop up, but um, I appreciate that. I guess. Jesus Christ! No fuck! What's this shit with Elon Musk and this pedo guy comment that he's in trouble for? Why is he? I just came across trouble? that now. There's so many uh, fucked up people in the world, and like these people focus on Elon Musk, like they keep doing it. Who gives a shit what Elon Musk said? Like, what the fuck? What do you do? Apparently, though? it's not within his First Amendment. Going back to the First Amendment again, because he threw that into the courts, I guess, and they tossed that out, saying that it he's not protected by the First Amendment when he calls someone a pedo guy. He was a British cave diver. I haven't even heard of this. Story, oh, but that's a, that's old. Like no, a this is old news. Yeah, I I yeah. We, I did a whole show on this. This is uh, way back. I guess. Yeah. I guess I just don't remember this, but yeah, the kids the that news, get stuck in the, the news cave. today is that they threw out his First Amendment right, basically on it. Yeah, they they. What do you mean? Like they they like can't be in trouble for it? Well, no that that he can't be protected by the First Amendment in this scenario. Oh, well, why? Well, we just make shit up as we go now. I see. With these, well, it's models. all about is it's not about that. Is it's about is it, is it slander? That's what it's about. Ah, uh, well. Isn't it? Well, isn't fuck. that what he's? He in should trouble? know better. He's a fucking, you know, like the fuck. Yeah, he basically was like, "Hey, the 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 cave divers were save, trying to save the kids or whatever," and then he was like, "Oh yeah, that guy's a fucking pedo or something." 
because the guy was like, <laughs> fuck. The, well, I, it was because the guy was like, Elon Musk was like, I can come up with a way to save the kids or whatever. And then the diver was like, yeah, well, you're coming up with some bullshit fucking thing. Like, we'll be actually saving the fucking kids. And then he was like, oh, yeah, well, you're a fucking pedo or whatever. <laughs> that's wow. funny. I that, mean, that's like, it that I get it. Out? I get it. It's legally slander, but. It was the you know what the, fucking grow the fuck up. What did he lose his job over that? You know what though it's Not the, Musk, it's, it's the, the way thing. it's the way Musk said it. Like I don't know what Musk yeah. the way Musk presented it. He presented it as doesn't everybody know about this? Like basically like you know we know you're everybody knows you're a, a pedo for this reason. Like it was a fact. Like he brought it up like it was a dead on fact that he knew about. And I, that's I mean, kind of fucked. That might, but oh, that, so it wasn't in the form of a joke. He was no, being it was no, yeah, no, it, it was, sounded like it was kind of. It was so like serious he, that I thought it was, he was real. Pissed, yeah. right? He didn't like the guy's response. He didn't like how he said, "Oh, you're going to be doing this bullshit." Well, we're actually saving him, so he went hard on him. Well, I also thought that that Elon knew he was a pedo. Like I actually believed that Elon Musk knew the guy was a pedo. Like that's what I thought. I was like, "Oh yeah, well, then, wow, this guy's a." pedo. If he's got proof, I'd say that'll take fucking uh, priority over the comment. But in yeah. order to prove it's slander, doesn't the guy have to have some sort of setbacks in life because of it? Yeah. Did people like, did he lose sponsors or whatever the yeah, hell? Yeah, he got harassed. Depends or anything, on the country, yeah. whatever country it's coming from. Britain, British cave diver. Well, you might be uh, fucked. Dude, I'm, I'm still waiting to watch that Snowden interview. Fucking, I, it was too boring when I first put it on. Yeah, Fuck. well, I, I was going to do a thing on Dave, Dave. I asked Dave about it. He just said, oh, it's all bullshit. Yeah, I listened to 20 minutes and I was like, this is really not as good as I thought it was going to be. I never clicked on something so fast to be so disappointed. Well, I thought it was all right myself, but Dave was like, oh, that's all a lie or something. I was like, what? What, the <laughs> one with the Joe Rogan? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I thought Musk, about watching that. Musk, okay. Elon's uh, lawyer said, we look forward to the trial. We understand that Musk has apologized. Unsworth would like to milk his 15 minutes of fame. <laughs> <laughs> He probably wanted to milk one of those kids. Yeah, I was gonna say you milk a preteen. You know? Milk, <laughs> milk a preteen. Oh, now you're gonna be on trial now, Joe. Yeah. yeah well, <laughs> fuck we're, we're all we're all just gonna get sued tonight. This shows the the uh, everyone gets sued episode. Fuck you! I heard it from Elon Musk. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hey, there you go. Yeah, I'm not said, fucking saying my fault. Pay for it. Yeah, he can. Be, he's got plenty of money. Wait till they find out that he fucking fakes all his fucking space shit. Um, he's trying to sell a book. Yeah, that's that's basically it. You know, that's uh, that's so he's like trying to tell you a lot of shit without telling you anything because it's in the book. You know, he knows what he's doing. All these guys are like wrestlers. You know, they got a gimmick and they got a whole fucking gotta be secretive. It's fucking weird, but it's the way it is, man. That's just I think the that's majority of just life. What's that? What's the majority? So the, it just seems like everybody nowadays just has a gimmick. You know what I oh, mean? Oh yeah, yeah, like yeah. It's weird. Like I see, like we nobody's all... nobody's real. Nobody is really true. And when you find the people that are actually, you know, you know, like you say, real as fuck, they're the ones that are kind of looked down on the most. Yeah, it's kind of like why. Well, but also some people are faking that. Like they'll say real as fuck, and then they're like, it's like the opposite of that. You know what I mean? Like, like even when I when I said real as fuck a while ago, like we, that was about that situation. You know what I mean? That was about I think it was about the JD situation or something like when I said real right. as fuck back then, I meant that, you know, and sometimes I I am being real as fuck. But there's a lot of times I'm not being real as fuck. So it's like, you know, saying real as fuck. I don't mean that I'm always real as fuck, but about those moments, I I was being real as fuck. I don't think that I'm nobody's real as fuck. You know, anybody that thinks they're actually real as fuck is probably fake as fuck. But, you know, it was just a saying at the time for something I was committed to that I really was being pretty real about. The most real people don't say much. Right. That's true. That's what it is. Most real people like are so boring. That Truth doesn't you, make the sound usually. It's everything else that does. Right. Yeah, the loudest motherfucker sometimes is the biggest full of shit fuck. And, you know, I, I do that. A, I, I've done that. You know, I've done that a lot. I've been fake. I've been I wouldn't say I'm trying to be fake at times, but I would say that I'm like, you know, fuckery as fuck, you know. But, um, yeah, sometimes you got to be real as fuck. Sometimes you got to be fucking re 
fucking fake as fuck and sometimes you got to be goofy as fuck and who knows what the fuck you're going to do so like yeah 80 percent real as fuck <laughs> so there you go <laughs> that's funny that should be a fucking shirt 60 <laughs> percent of the time real as fuck 60% of the time, I'm real as fuck all the time. It's 20%. Exactly. Yeah. Shit, Joe, if you make that a shirt, I'll buy it. <laughs> 20% real as fuck. No, well, <laughs> yeah. like 80% real. What is it like? So 20% fucking. No, what fucker. was it you said, Joe? Uh, Drew, it was 60% I'm real as fuck all the time. Yeah. If that was a shirt, I'd totally buy it. I'd make it 80% real as fuck, 20% drunk as fuck. <laughs> like, or something like yeah, that. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, Wandy. What was that? You going to get drunk tonight, man? I doubt it. I don't think it's going to be very long tonight. I think, you know, <laughs> throwdowns, you know, originally throwdown was about an hour. And then what happened is we started getting into the heyday of throwdown around, you know, like for the last, you know, like episodes 50s and 60s and 40s. Especially it depends on the flow of the yeah, night. It right? all depends on the night, you know. There was one night where, like, I'm like, well, I've got about 45 minutes of of material to talk about, and I was like, we'll just hit it, you know. We'll probably be done in an hour. We'll get out of here. And I remember like something happened, like breaking news happened, and then we were we covered that for 30 minutes. Then like we had like donations were coming in like crazy, so like we couldn't get into anything, and then people were calling like crazy, and like. Yeah, so at one point, Throwdown got so crazy it was rivaling, 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 yeah. monetize this. But um, yeah, I always looked at it as a mini monetize this, like you know, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's the shorter version of monetize this, right? And it's usually like one to four hours, just like something like that. Kind of the right. early days of monetize this in a way. By the way, the Nationals are up seven to two now. Dude, I've been watching some of those old wow. ones, like the ones in the fifties, and they're fucking hilarious. Holy shit! I really? actually ended up finding one that had every like so many things were started that night. It was like the deer it was the first time that came out. All kinds of shit. Oh but, yeah, you know, that was fun. Like fifty eight and fifty nine <laughs> are fucking killer, man. They're fucking. I great. just remember very vividly episode sixty when Joe stuck that vacuum cleaner up his ass, the hose. <laughs> oh god, I wouldn't fly now. <laughs> That'd be funny. <laughs> Mm. No, you could see it was just funny because like Leo wasn't like friends with JB much yet. Like he, was, she was bitching about like the um like the fact that he hunted, and he's like, yeah. "God damn it, until she talks to me, I'm not gonna, I don't fuck this." He starts pouring a drink. <laughs> <laughs> until she gets like, I ain't talking about this. Yeah, it's like I'm not, I'm not waiting. You tell her, come on, Joe. Oh, uh, <laughs> she hated him at that time. Yeah, she was like, I don't oh, like. It was I'm, so funny because they're like best buds now. It's and I'm te- I'm telling Lee, I'm like, you're gonna. I'm like, I promise you, you li- you like this guy. Like, I swear to God, you would like get along with him. And why? So and like she- to get on her good side, he brought the deer out and then he put a gun to its head on camera. <laughs> <laughs> that was so good. What was it? Somebody had to pay like a hundred dollars for him to like fuck the deer or get blown by the deer. Yeah, it was something um, like that. Oh, no, but he brought the deer out for free. Yeah, he, he, say, he, I don't remember a dollar amount. No, it was. I think it was at another time. Somebody was like, "Bring the deer out. I'll I'll pay a hundred. And that didn't happen. But I mean, <laughs> oh, that was that was a few months ago, wasn't it? it yeah. Was, or, did, or was that or was for the fuck of it too? Yeah, it was something. It wasn't. I know that it wasn't the original thing at all. Yeah, he. We just did that for fun. In fact, at the time, I don't even know if we had donations then. Nah, uh, there were. Hey, we had donations. You had people was, like Lemon. Yeah, well, Star- Lemon, dude, he was like one of the big times back yeah. then. Like He was hitting 50 each time, man, just fucking bam, bam, yeah. bam. Every I time it. it was points to you, Jesse. It was, it was fucking I great. Like, Where the hell did he go anyway? I know, right? I don't know. He showed up on a show one time and shit all over me. Uh, Where does everybody go? It makes me sad. He'll come back one day. Don't worry. No, like, he actually... um. He actually might a lot not. Of names have. From back. I'm sorry. He, 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 no, he said he didn't do that though. I was kidding. He he actually was a patron still, so he might still be a patron. Actually, I just haven't heard from him in a long time. There were there was a lot of names like that were coming up on the show that I don't see anywhere. Like the Don, fucking all kinds of people. I'm like, where did oh, everybody yeah. go? The Don actually called. Um, yeah, Lemon is still here. He's still a patron. He just doesn't really talk much or show himself. Is the Don still around? He he called. He the Don called about. Uh, five weeks ago or four weeks ago, randomly on oh, cool. on a wrestling yeah. show out of nowhere, he was like, "Joe, it's uh the dawn." And I was like, "What? Wow, Holy that's shit!" Great. Yeah, I couldn't believe it. Like, I'm, like, I'm still waiting for fucking beefy Mario to come back. Man. Oh my god, he was on there too, and I was like, "Look, <laughs> oh yeah." 
Dude, somebody would make some fucked up joke you just hear in the background. The beef gets cooked. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hot as fuck, Joe. Love to see what I would have loved to see what that guy looked like so I could beat off to him. Beat off. I just imagine he he looked a lot like fucking. I don't know. Someone like. A professor? A black Rob Van Dam. Mm. Yeah, you know, oh, you know who I was thinking of is um my a guy I used to know um. Who's the guy I used to know? He's not. He, oh God, what's his name? Fuck, what's his name, man? He used to make videos, and I used to be friends with him. And he was actually on an episode of Monetize This. Uh, he's not re- that. Uh, was he a wrestling guy? Nah, or was he, a, um... nah, he's like um. Fuck. I can't remember his name now. I he wanted is, to say that Richani guy. I wanted to say no. It's a he's a YouTuber though. He's he's uh, shit. He was on an episode of Monetize This. Uh, I I did a fucking mm, fuck like me. He's dude. a legit YouTuber. Yeah. Huh. Huh. Hold on, let me try to look him up. I might be able to find him. Oh, uh, no, that's got me stumped. Yeah. I, Unless it was an yeah. earlier monetized this, I mean, maybe it I depends what, what like nah, what, he, what number monetized this. He covers a lot of he covers a lot of like hip hop news. Oh, um, oh, I think it's the one that Ray always talks about. What's fuck's his name? Hey man, no, nah, I still got this guy. I, I'll, I, he's even on my Skype still uh, somewhere. I'm, I know. For, I, have his I totally know who you're talking about. And I can't think of his fucking name. Yeah, man. Me and him were like we used to talk on Skype off air. We did shows together. Um, I got in a fight with Minnesota boy on his show. Um, fuck me, dude. I can't remember his name now. It's a really short name. It's like, I think it's got a, a letter and then like a short name or vice versa. Like Ray B. Oh, Dom. Something. Dom is live. Yeah. Dom. Dom. Everybody in the chat knew. Dude, we just, the fuck did everybody know? Stop trying to look it up and just look at the chat. Yeah. Dom. <laughs> and I haven't talked to Dom in, uh, I haven't talked to Dom in a while, like about a, maybe a year. I miss Dom. Dom is live. <clears throat> Everybody knows him too. Everybody's saying in the chat. That's crazy. Everybody knows who he is. That's fucked up. That guy was my buddy when he had a uh, shit. He had like 40,000 subscribers. Not even way back when we used to talk about like YouTube and what we were going to do and about doing a show all the time. And we did a cut. Co- we did a couple. I still have them, but yeah, just crazy. Dom is live, man. 1.5 million subs. Yeah, he really grew. Jeez. He really fucking grew. <laughs> uh, he was, uh, he started, um, I don't remember when he started, but he started after me. I know. I think he started after me, I believe. I could be wrong, but, and I think he was, originally it was he was a subscriber of mine for the wrestling stuff. And then we talked and then we started doing whatever. And uh, yeah, it's kind of funny. You used to do GTA videos? Oh, wow. Okay. I didn't I remember that. Yeah, I think I do remember that. He was going to give me his PlayStation. I remember that. Like, he got, he fucking, he like got it. Like, he, somebody gave it to him or something like that. And he was like, You want a virtual reality PlayStation? Because I'm not playing it. And I was like, What? And I fucking, I was like, Yeah. But then I never got back to him. But he offered it to me. I would, I would have had it if I was an idiot. I forget what happened. I was like busy or something. I never got back to him. And then eventually. He must have sold it or something, but I remember I was like, why the fuck didn't I take that? What am I, stupid? Wasn't that, wasn't that around the time you were still working your job? Yeah, I was pretty busy. I was busy. I but fuck, I should have yeah. grabbed it. should have grabbed it. Dom is live. Dommy motherfucker. Me and him, uh, we used to share dick pics. No, I'm just kidding. Just, now it's just you and Bailey, right? What? What was me and Bailey? So you said you guys used to share dick pics. I was like, now it's just you and Bailey. Oh yeah, now it's just down to me and uh, me and Bailey's, Bailey. Bailey sends shit pics. Shit <laughs> dick. Yeah. Now he sends. Everyone else sends pics. their dick, and he sends a fucking yeah, like you raunchy check this turd. Out, honey. But she never seen a turd like that. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Thanks for the shit pics, Bailey. Should have grabbed it and sold it. No shit. I mean, what was I thinking? You gotta have a five gallon fucking flusher. They, no way them fucking eco toilets work with him. <laughs> <laughs> He's like a 1985 fucking five gallon fucking. 
<laughs> stuff. He needs like one of those t- the ones you have like in fucking like big malls and shit. That are just like they'll take down anything. Fucking. We'll stuff a bidet <laughs> up his ass. Industrial toilet. Down to their final out. Base is empty. Down by five. All right. Here we fucking it's go. About time. Great if the whole stadium just got bombed. Oh, Jesus. It might. Yeah, I know. I'm surprised no one's tried that. I'll be honest with you. That's fucking. Yeah, all, you well, the they make it to game seven then? All the different things the terrorists have done to try and, you know, fuck shit up. But. Yeah, I'm not even going to throw ideas out there. Yeah, they do it now. <laughs> but now it's your fault. Yeah, because I said something. Now I get to. Yeah, yeah I get off scot free. I'm good. But, you know, they'll hit a building with 4,000 people in it, but then you've got a stadium with 80,000. I don't know. Yeah. But then the steel beams, the end, the jet fuel. How does that work? Yeah. <laughs> uh- <laughs> I remember Deacon Do Dirty. He's still around. His name is different now. Now it's uh He's dropped like Agent Orange all over the fucking stadium, you know? Oh my god, imagine how fucked up that is. Something like that, you know. Imagine how fucked up that would be, dude. That's really fucked up. Everyone would have six arms. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. If, if you're this. if you're lucky, that's all that happens. You think fucking autism's big now. No. <laughs> what the hell? All of a sudden, you have a stadium full of Tommies. <laughs> oh, <laughs> one's enough. But here, here's eighty thousand more. Jesus Christ! Just imagine, imagine hearing like eighty thousand people like, "Stay positive, positive, positive." <laughs> <laughs> Don't talk about Debbie, Debbie, Debbie. <laughs> uh. I want to put a quarter up my ass. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> oh, man. You know what I'm going to watch tonight, I think, in a little while? I'm either going to watch Airheads because we talked about it the other day, or I'm going to watch American Pie uh, 2 or whatever. Whatever the one is when he goes to the band camp. And, uh, um, and, and yeah, that would be part two, right? Yeah, yeah. My name is Petey. Yeah, that's number two. And I have that gigantic shit's... balls. I love that shit. Holy Speaking of fuck. movies, yeah. have you ever seen the movie called Club Dread? Club mm. Dread? Heard of it. I turned it off. Oh, Club Dread. It's where they're on like a, some kind of fucking island where everybody's supposed to like have fun and basically fuck. And there's mm-hmm. a killer on the island that's like supposedly like the dude it's, that actually is the killer. It's a broken lizard movie. I know yeah, that. Yeah, it's broken lizard. Thank you. I couldn't remember the actual. I couldn't it's get broken through lizard. it. Club I dress. I don't know why. I just didn't. I think it might have been like their first one or something. I'm bringing the whiskey on cam. You've got a new subscriber. No, Javier actually, Romero, was, thanks for subbing, after... man. What up? Oh my bad. I just want to say hi to Javier Romero, man. A buenos noches, motherfucker. Javier, are you ready for game seven? Let's go. Game seven. Put my dick in my ass. Club what Dread up? came after Super Troopers, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was around that time. Mm, yeah. I will eat your asshole out. <laughs> I recommend a clean out first. Yeah, you know, I I've, re- that's been... I, I had a girl offer that to me once. She's like, I got to clean first. And I was like, what do you mean? Not yet. Drink like six fucking capsules of Miralax. You'll be good. I mean, it was I like... Been- but it was like on the spot. It was like, I got to go now and be. I'll be right back. Like, what do you? Uh, get, what well, the fuck are you gonna do? Plunge yourself? I don't know, but it is better if you do a clean out. Just saying. Beer Fest was another good movie. See, couldn't beer, get through see, that one either. That's another one that like I watched that movie one time, and I thought it was like I like I entertained me enough that I watched the whole thing. I think, but I was just like, what? I, no, yeah, I didn't really like it, man. I gotta tell you, I gotta be honest. Me neither. Doss Boot is what made that movie even, I think, really memorable. I don't even remember that. I don't even remember anything about it. I just remember the name. I don't. I, I remember trying to watch it and not getting through it. It was like fuck I remember this. thinking ba- basketball was better. Oh basketball. God! Wait, Duke's oh, a Hazard God. was a broken lizard movie. Uh, that wasn't uh, very that good either. Makes sense. They all played cameos. I mean, these are all shitty movies like Van Wilder and shit. Yeah, yeah, Crap. yeah. I mean, Super Troopers was obviously the that's the, the best big standout. One. Yeah. yeah. 
that's the home run. <laughs> I'd say if, uh, out of all my, all the movies I've ever seen, is it national? Wait a minute, is it national? Boys. I'm sorry, isn't National Lampoon's Van Wilder? Yeah, it is. Yeah. That's why that's that was better. With- that's when they stopped getting good, though. I missed oh. Senior Trip. That was a good movie. Yeah, yeah I good. think Jesse was just comparing. Oh, the style okay, of the all right. I was yeah, like, yeah, I, I, I don't think he was yeah. thinking that Fuck. National or uh, that Broken Lizard did that. All no, right. no, yeah. I wasn't doing. Yeah, I was just making a comparison. Go ahead, Barracode. I'm sorry, man. There's all the patrons. The twenty five dollar patrons are on your screen right now. Shout out to them. Become a twenty five dollar patron so uh, the shows don't end. Uh, Barracode, how are you, man? What did What were you gonna say? I'm sorry, we interrupted you. Uh, what do you guys think about Waiting? The movie Waiting. Didn't see With, that. Uh, one. What was it? Yeah, chick really? Flick? No, it was not a chick flick. It was about a uh, bunch of people working in a restaurant. I fucking okay. I don't remember. It's I've brand seen new. it. I don't remember shit about it though. Isn't that a brand new movie? In Reynolds. Isn't it brand new? No, no. It, no, I it's old. Say it was made in the two thousands. What? Mm, wow. I, it had to be made in the two thousands. I mean, it sounds like a movie I. No, but I mean, I thought it was like made like a couple of years ago. No, no, no it is two thousand. It's a little older than that. You got waiting, and uh, I think still waiting. Ryan Reynolds, <laughs> Anna Ferris, Justin Long, David Koechner. Uh Dane Cook's in it as well, so maybe that's <laughs> why. Okay, that that Andy, Andy, <laughs> Andy, Andy Milanakis. Andy Milanakis. I remember when I wrote Tommy wrote, three times and listened to him squeal. I was on his podcast once and I just acted like a shithead. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> yeah, it was funny. I was just like, hey. <laughs> I mean, I think most people would want to do that to him. I just, I was actually, um, because of all the stuff with the baited thing and everything else, and uh, I just basically was imitating Tommy C, but nobody understood what I was doing. It was pretty fucking funny, actually, to me. I, then anyone who came across that that knew what you were doing. <laughs> Tennis Racket Jones is in the chat. What up to Tennis Racket Jones? I haven't seen him in a while, man. He's back. It makes me feel like I start thinking sexual things. I don't know why. It's official going to game seven. I know why. Take a tennis racket and smack smack it across your ass. No, I was more thinking of the Mm. handle. What to do with it. Oh. You're riding on Cronin's dick. Fucking song is great. Is that on Patreon? Somewhere. I think it is, yeah. Yeah, you'd have to dig. I think all the songs are on Patreon if you almost all of them are, but there's a lot that actually aren't that I I forget and then people are like, Oh, you gotta get it. Like I put racist American up there a couple days ago. <laughs> Cloud well, it's weird because like I remember back in the day people would be like, Oh yeah, dude, make a fucking whole like C D of these things, we'll buy them, and then you went to like do it and nobody really <laughs> fucking followed through. That's a good point. Not like a CD, but like a like I don't know. It started with like hold you down tonight. Everyone was like, Oh man, we gotta you know. Like, I want to get that fucking nine. I want to get that nine dollar donation as my ringtone. Oh, that can happen. It's fucking, that, it's that's fucking over pretty well. Wait, is that the Brock Lesnar one? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. That yeah, that one's fucking, fucking hilarious. Every time. I just want to <laughs> fucking like put my hand through this window. Whoa. See, it makes me want to put my hand through like my shorts, but. <laughs> It just makes me want to fucking get violent. I just want to like. Whoa! That's know. how I felt like all day, just calmly, gently. Want to break shit? You know. I, f- I feel like we need to have an inter- intervention with you, Barracuda. You I feel said like interaction. Rage. You said interaction. You homo. <laughs> you said interaction. That, that was you won- weeks ago when him and I met. Oh my up. god! But now we're on to the intervention. The fuck is wrong with you? Interaction. Leah, you want in on this conversation? Niga bands. Oh my god. Ugh. But I, I feel like there's some pent up rage there with you, Coda. Do you have something you need to express or let out? Is there something that's bothering you right now? He's gay. No, there's nothing I need to release. Well, I mean, in about a couple hours once the stream is done and nobody's on air, I'm probably gonna release something. I don't know. Oh shit. <laughs> You ain't never <laughs> met a motherfucker. And then you're gonna take a picture of it and send it to Bailey. How oh, would I send whoa. it to Bailey? I don't have him on Facebook or anything. Do I? You don't have him on Twitter? I do have him on Twitter. Never mind. You I send him a him shit pic on Twitter. I legit have like yes. 500 Facebook friend requests. I don't because I don't friend. <laughs> I don't friend anybody. And and people always go, why don't you friend people on Facebook? 
And then I like, Dude, I go, that's so funny. My I'm mom like, was actually asking her, she was like, how come Joe's never fucking responded to my thing? I said, well, he probably has like a hundred or 200 of them. Fucking well, yeah. Better, like, well, it's not just that better. though. It's the real reason it's not, I mean, I'd friend your mom, but like the real reason I haven't friended anybody on Facebook is because you guys have seen how many different random people sometimes like flip flop into psychopaths. You, you have to be cautious right. about who you let in. You know? Yeah. Like, so fuck. it's like, you don't, I don't fucking exactly. know. I mean, yeah, it's, got, it's kind of an unspoken yeah. thing. Twitter's kind of a playing field for people, but Facebook is where like you've got your family and your personal yeah, yeah, shit and coworkers. Yeah, and- bro. If I po- I might post stuff that like tells you where I live or where people I know live and where things are going on. Yeah, and you, you know got, what I mean? Yeah, it's, it's like, what if some psychos on there fucking sh- You know what I mean? Like, and it, so, and it's a different, right. and you, you know, we had to be that way way back in the day too, but it wasn't as bad. Like now yeah, it's, it's really bad. You have now. to watch out for everybody. It's like, what the fuck? You're right. That's right. It's fucked up, man. I don't know. I, re- I don't really trust Facebook <laughs> all the shit with Zuckerberg and shit. Well, yeah, and like I'm not trying oh. to like shit on like it's nothing against anybody. I literally don't friend anybody. Although it is funny though. Kyle Rayner just said Brian Himmelfarb uh, friended me on Facebook, but Cronin didn't. But I'm actually I am friends with Brian on Facebook. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah. I fucking saw that too. Like, I'm friends with him too. Like on all of my Facebooks, it's funny. I mean, obviously, well, Bra- Brian's obviously. always been pretty open with you know yeah, yeah. himself and his life and everything. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I would obviously be friends with him. I mean, like that. I, I, I see Green Bay Packer posts. Or I'd some kill shit. somebody like, for him still. I like if he he could just hit me up tomorrow. I'd be like, hey, listen, Joe, will you fucking kill somebody? Like, I would just do whatever. I you know what I mean I I'm I would do whatever he wants. I'm pretty sure he hates me now because probably been manipulated like everybody else. But, you know, I, he I would definitely be his like fucking like whatever he wants. Like, hey, listen, can you go? This guy's been coming to my house and keying my car at night. You know, I would show the fuck up there, by the way. And here's the other thing about Brian that I noticed looking at his Facebook. There's a couple people on there that are like like and I'm talking about people that it's not a big deal. Like there's like one or two people that I can see on his Facebook and a lot of his friends I recognize actually from the show, almost all of them. It's weird. Mm. But a few of them, there's one or two guys that are fucked up people that are like not real people. They're like troll crazy people. I, I don't think he knows this. <laughs> Look, I want to send him a message not- like to maybe get rid of that guy on your Facebook. That's not a normal dude. Like, I'm not Actually, kidding. Like- yeah, like, like they're the only weird. People I have from uh, like from this show on my Facebook, a lot of them are people that don't I don't even see in the chat anymore, except for like Barracuda and stuff, but like like Barrasso and stuff, you know? Oh yeah, Tony Barrasso. Oh yeah, yeah, Tony. Like I have to, oh, okay, Tony's on my Facebook. Brian, yeah, is. he's a good dude. Um, a couple other people are that are here. Like maybe ADTR might be. I'm not sure. Um, we took part in raising him. We should get like fucking. Yeah, I don't know. We like, should have gotten like tax right reparations or something. No. <laughs> See, I think the only people I have from the community has to be like Travis Dolphin on high and uh, Jesse <clears throat> Dolphin on his eye, baby. Dolphin on his eye. We got, we wow. got a lot of good people, though. You just got to use your discretion. Somebody please yeah. clip that. Clip him. Clip Barracuda saying that. Dolphin his on eye. his eye. That's, what <laughs> I mean. That's fucking weird. Yeah. <laughs> I got to be on. Sorry. We I, I've been pretty much the same way. Like I, I, my Facebook used to be wide open. Like you didn't even have to be a friend of mine to see everything. And yeah. you know, the last couple of years, it's on total lockdown unless you're a friend of mine. Yeah, like, I don't even know if you could actually find me on there. <laughs> it's that locked down. I guess Kyle <laughs> Rayner donated a dollar. I'm sorry. Anything under three dollars doesn't play. I guess Joe drinks White Claw and loves White Cock. He says. That's uh, I like pretty much all cock. I mean, to be honest, I don't give a shit what color it is. Oh yeah, <laughs> like you give me any, yeah. You off if you off vaginas or yeah, vagi- anything. You offer up fucking some kind of private part. I mean, I'm open to it. But yeah, I don't. Sorry, right if yeah. I mean Kyle Raynard. I mean, or Rannard. I always say Raynard like there's a Y. Kyle Rannard. Um. I could, I'd probably, I mean, like, if he was, like, really hit me up, I'd probably, like, I know him. Like, I I know, I mean, I don't know him, but I know him pretty decently well. Like, I, he's always been around and always been awesome. You know, but it's right. just, like, it's better off to just not add anybody. You know, that way, 
keep it all family, all that type of stuff. Whatever, you know, you just keep it black and white because then you enter that gray yeah, area. Like, then people I are like, well, used to keep I've been watching time. this long. What, why did that fuck get on there? Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah. A lot of these people are from back way back when, and it just happened to be that I added them or whatever. But yeah, there's been people in the past that were fucking weird too that I had to get rid of, you know. And it's like, it's not, they're not around anywhere anymore. They were, they were fucking. And then there's some people that turned out to be so we- whacked out as fuck. And like I almost added them on Facebook years ago, and I went, "Wow, good thing I didn't fucking add <laughs> that guy, like, because that was crazy." But most people are normal and nice, and they don't even fucking. I just feel bad because I see a lot of people that I really like. A lot of people, most people who Facebook friend me, I, I like them, so I'm like, "Yeah," because oh, like, I've been blessed to have like, you know, the people that are just chill and shit, you know. Like, yeah. But you never know. You just don't know. Right. You got to be very careful because you don't know who is who is real and who's a snake. Yeah, everybody's yeah, I mean, weird now. I'm still used, like, like weird. I used to be like Drew. I would do like the keep it closed down thing, but then I was doing all the stuff I was doing with like the mirror therapy thing and everything. So I was like, I had to keep everything open in public. But it still doesn't mean you'll get friended. It just means that you can see for, things. For years, I kept mine completely open, and then after the whole uh, somebody getting doxxed in the community, I just started getting like real paranoid. So I closed. I just kind of privated everything on my Facebook. I was like, I don't. I don't want somebody coming up and trying to, you know, say, "Hey, here's this dude's phone number." You know, the, tr- the trolling's less on Facebook. I've found. I mean, I've gotten trolled there before, but it was way more. Um, it was less malicious. It was really just fucking with you. Like they'd bring in forty, fifty people, and then like start being like, "So, how much is your couch? Like, do you want that? <laughs> like, can I buy your couch? Like, how much?" Like shit like that, just <laughs> fucking with you, like wasting your time, but not doing anything malicious. And I'm like, well, whatever. You brought me 60 extra viewers, so hey. They want to bring. Uh, they want to bring their couch into your home so they can smell your cum stain. Oh God. Uh, I don't think uh, there might be some juices on that end, though. Never mind. Like I said, dude, I shot. I shot the somewhere. biggest load in the bathroom earlier. Like uh, I mean, same. it was like. You, know, you didn't do the pussy move and just shoot it in the bowl, did you? No, it was in the nope, shower. Right in the sink. Damn. Yeah. Right. No, just fucking all over the floor. Right, in the, right in the shower. <laughs> you know what happened is um, I banged Leah like back on uh, pr- what, Friday night, probably. Yeah, Friday night we did it. And normally like either the day after like or like the next morning, it's like feverishly horny again. Like because you're like it's almost like your dick's like mm-hmm. like I remember the sex. So now I'm horny. So like I wake up uh, and I'll like jerk off again and it's like huge and it's awesome. So that's literally me two hours after sex. Yeah. Well, it's well, even it's even yeah. more than sex. Like you're like me, Joe. You're like you get like all in into whoever you know who you're with. So you're like you just like want them all the time, no matter what the fuck yeah. they can say hello. And it's like y'all. Oh, yeah, you want to fuck? Yeah. Same, yeah. <laughs> but it's like so like I didn't I didn't do that though this time. So like I didn't jerk off. And so then what Saturday, Sunday and it, Monday and today is today's Tuesday. I actually hadn't ejaculated since Friday night. So Let's see how you do that. I couldn't. I know like it was like keeping it nightly. Well, you know, I've been like, de- I don't want to fucking say, but I've been really depressed the last couple of days. So I was like really depressed, really stressed. Like well, that's one of the best ways, Joe. Yeah, but it, no, it wasn't working for me. I was not in the mood. Like last four, yeah, I've been dude, there too. The last three days, okay. dude. I was fucked up the last three days, like really badly. And yesterday, dude, I almost fucking, I, 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 I almost wanted to cut my fucking finger off yesterday. I was like, let me just fucking, I'll cut my fingers off. Uh, I'm gonna fucking, it was fucking masochistic almost. But so I um today I felt a little bit better. I think. And so I was like, yeah, I was just like, I'm, I, I really want to whack off. And I'm telling you, it was like, <laughs> like it was just fucking smashing. The, it was just crazy, man. You could have fucking, I probably could have impregnated like three different women or something. It was, it was nutty. <laughs> it was whack. My was problem crazy. is like, I have to f- sometimes force myself to be in the mood when I'm like depressed or anything. Cause I'm just like, I think I need some kind of release. That's creepy. You're going to kill someone. I'm sorry. Yeah, I could never kill someone. I don't know, man. It's one of those just, things. Like, <laughs> no, I don't think so. But, it's a good way to get endorphins, man. What sucks is when you've gone four days without, and then you do it, yeah. and you're expecting this massive fucking thing, yeah. and it's just like, blah, blah, blah. yeah. 
Like it doesn't even really get you off that yeah, much. Yeah, like, too long, what the like, fuck yeah, did I wait called, for? That's yeah. called your dick isn't working right. <laughs> <laughs> I just wasted no, but then, thirty minutes. What, what, what's funny is yourself. then you go do it again six hours later or something, and boom, it's back to normal. It's like what? No, 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 what no, happened no, with no, that no, one? When it's yeah. the first time in a while, fucking you got to edge like two, three times. Like hold off and then fucking wham. Yeah. That, well, no, I will agree with you. That's kind of the problem is you're trying to like rub one out real quick or something, and that's uh, you get see, exactly like what you get. You know. Oh no, I agree. But you know, sometimes you're in a hurry. Yeah, you know. And, yeah, man. The best is like if you were like like just done it in the courthouse. Then the girl. <laughs> then like yeah, the the, the 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 girl's slamming you and doing all these True things. Story. And then she gets up and she just dances around for a little while and then rubs her tits around your body for some reason. Like, this is weird. And then you just, you're just going to explode all over the place. It's going to be amazing. See, right. Teach them to fucking hold off, too. So they can't do it either. Right. Like, no, but they... I that. Could you say... Shut up, bitch. <laughs> what are you, Tommy? Like, I, I, need, I need one of these reader things because I can't read anything. No, I might like, fucking hand, like, hit Siri. So oh like yeah, shut. fuck her. But uh, but no, man, I like, shut her off. Fuck I like her. fucking like seeing like how far women can hold off too, because usually they have a hard time with it. But then like there's some of them. It's like oh shit, this one knows what's up, and then they like test your fucking endurance. It's fun. Before before I even activated my Facebook and Twitter when I got my new phone, I shut Siri off. That was the very first thing I did. I've tried to be mean to her. She's fucking. She doesn't take shit sometimes. <laughs> I don't know. She shit. actually like tried to call the cops on me. Did you try hooking the car battery up to her? No, no. I told her I'd fucking kill her if she ever spoke again. And uh, she started like dialing nine one one. I'll tell you a fucked up thing I did once. The neighbor was over here a couple of years ago, and we were fucking around with his phone because he had Siri on there. And we were telling her to do a bunch of stupid shit. <laughs> and I, and it, mind you, again, it was his phone. I said, uh, Siri. How do you kill the president of the United States? Oh shit! <laughs> He's like, don't do that on my fucking phone. They start like, reciting the exactly fucking JFK it. thing. Wow! <laughs> Damn, Drew. So yeah, you take a right turn. No, that's well. What? What was her answer? I don't know I, that. One. I couldn't even tell you. I was laughing so fucking hard. Sometimes he was she so fucking pissed. bitches out. Sometimes she'll be like, "Oh, I don't know that one." I, she either said I don't understand, or she said, "Why would you do that?" Or something. It was something yeah, really that's, simple. That's but what she does. She gets all uppity. But I don't. It, that it didn't even matter because his reaction and my laughter. It just, like, <laughs> the room was dying. He's probably flipping out. Jesus. <laughs> she records everything though. Well, that was kind of the point. I think we were talking about that a little earlier on in the evening, like how, uh, you know, the phones record shit. And they know what you're doing and everything. Well, it made sense. My hand hit it. What's fucked up is when you're talking about something and all of a sudden they pipe in. It's like, what the fuck? Right. How well, long were you, you ever... listening to that? <laughs> <laughs> you're going to like your Facebook or your Twitter and say, say you don't own a dog or just something random that, but this one particular day you decide to talk about dog biscuits with a friend. Then you pull up your Twitter and your Facebook oh, and all yeah. of a sudden you got all these fucking dog biscuit ads. Well, dude, yep. Joe's Joe's fucking uh, show right now. When I turned on my uh, throwdown, it had a fucking ad for true connect. I just got one of those phones the other fucking day. Well, see, that's the, that just shows uh, that they're not listening close enough. <laughs> they know oh, that you've been talking about weird. it, but. No, I well, I got it. No, I actually got it. It's, it's one of those Obama phones, and so like it was just funny when I saw it pop up. I'm like, ha! So what about the Manscape ad ads? And do I've they know I need too. to shave my balls or something? I haven't shaved my balls in years. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> it's fun. What's funny yeah. is somebody mentioned that fucking uh, Doctor Squatch uh, soap the other That's night, fun. and I was yeah. starting to get advertisements for it on my Facebook. Watch it. Just watch it. As yeah, <laughs> my phone was fucking listening, and I was like. Wow, that's it. Yeah, I bet you they posted that to YouTube, and I bet you they've gotten a lot of views just the people that willingly went to watch it. I fucking watch it anytime because it's just funny. It's just like your balls are so dry, empty, and sad. I'm like, wow, <laughs> I can relate. There's some there's some fake commercials out there too that are funny as fuck on YouTube. I'm trying to remember some of them now, but now there's uh, a natural shampoo ad on your thing, Joe. Oh, really? I'll put uh, well, yeah. I, Shampoo what your is pubic it, dude, hair. When, when you try and get on monetize this, it, it loves putting these three-minute ads. Huh. Really? What do you mean? 
I've never seen it this much on live shows though. Like if I refresh my page right now, it'll show me another ad. Yeah, there, there's I I, there's been times I where like I I don't even monetize it. I don't monetize something live, and then they it. they do it anyway. So someone drops an f bomb and it's over anyways. But you'll okay. get a few ads before it they did happen it. this time because I did it too soon after the other one. But I bet you if I wait like 15, 20 minutes, this thing will give me another ad. That's awesome. Kind I was of. Say, the last episode of Monsters this I had an ad was probably about two thirty two oh, or two thirty one. I don't. I get them the yeah, most when I'm on the show. That's the funniest part. <laughs> I think the last one was like one for like something about Walmart, and I was like, "What the fuck is this?" We need to get sex toys on this thing. That's what we need to be selling, Joe. Mm. Oh yeah, Fuck I mean, yes. I've said that for Fuck, years. Like, yeah. like Joe Cronin sex toys. Remember that? Yeah, we yeah. got to do it because, like, I got ideas. Oh, I remember that funny commercial. Now it was Dickens Cider. <laughs> Dick inside, and I, I don't even know if you you've got to watch it, and I don't know if you no can show way. it on air without you know bullshit or whatever. But that is the funniest fucking well, commercial. Hell, it, was on his, it was on his show, right? It was on whose yeah, show? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was it one of Joe's ads? No, no, no. This is a fake made up commercial that's on YouTube. Oh, okay. Got it's it. not a real cider. It's 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 a joke commercial. Oh, but it but really it's an Australian dude, an older Australian dude. Oh, I say older, like maybe fifties or whatever. But he's holding up the bottle. And he's like, "Try Dick and Cider," and, blah, blah, blah. and and then he goes, "Look, if you don't believe me, listen to some of our testimonials." And there'll be a mother and a daughter, and she goes, uh, I, "I love it when my mom, mom and I take the time to share a Dick and Cider." <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy like, funny. And it goes really deep down that hole of like relatives and, you know, weird shit or, or a, a man and his dog. And it's like, <coughs> I, my dog's a good girl. I have no problem with putting a dick inside her. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty my funny. My God, I've never heard of that kind of yeah, cider. Before. Go check it out later on or something. It's, it's funny fucking shit. That is pretty funny. You know, this would be funny. Somebody running on the uh, field during Game Seven, waving a dildo, and everybody thinking that's <laughs> funny. And then he, but then he pulls out a bazooka. And then oh you find God. out that they have a Patreon and they show their tits and clit and shit all over it. Yeah, maybe I should. Maybe I should have done that. I mean, so a girl, right. a girl flashes her body illegally, basically, like, and they get two thousand patrons. Like, but well, you know what? But if I go she, to if I go to that baseball game and I and I fucking show my ass. I bet you I get arrested. Oh yeah, no, all she is is banned for life from MLB. Yeah, no, it's I would like, have been arrested. Like, well, she, oh, oh, by I the way, your, your Patreon would be taken down too because that stuff is kind of frowned upon by Patreon. Like, if you go out in the world fucking around to get money on your things, like they'll take you off. Well, maybe someone should report her then. Dead serious. <laughs> make, yeah, you can't. You can't fucking go try a little harder for your living, bitch. <laughs> You can't dox people if you dox somebody on purpose. Like you, you lose your Patreon. Uh, if you do something illegal, on like, and it has to do with what you do, like you go out right. and uh, you know, if you go outside and you like club a protester, if you're if you're somebody who's like you know fuck the protesters and you go out and you club them for whatever side you're on, they're on whatever. Oh, I mean, they're a little bit biased, but you know what I mean. If you go out and club the wrong protester. And then your your Patreon is about freedom of speech podcast or something. Uh, they'll take you down. You're done. They'll take you off Patreon for that, or for like fucking, you know, being like, I'm gonna dox this person. Like you're you're done. You're off Patreon. You you are off you're, Patreon. So uh, I'm gonna put it into perspective just a little bit more. And this was a thousand patrons ago for her. She makes a hundred and thirty one thousand four hundred dollars a month. Jesus fuck month Jesus fuck and and all she had to do was flash her tits on air and get banned for life from MLB that's just crazy man it's like hey I don't need MLB anymore I got what I needed out of it that's just wild I mean that's that's like fucking play money that's like fuck around with anything what the fuck money like that's nuts like I see people on there making 14,000 a month and I'm like wow that's nuts right like that's crazy, like because they leave the thing up so you can see how much they're making too. I'm like, 
wow. And the weird thing about some of them is they don't do a lot. That's the weird thing. Like there's this one guy was doing 14,000 a month on Patreon and he doesn't do anything almost. He has one show a week and it's one hour long and everything else was really just support me, support what we do, but it's everybody can see how much he makes. Isn't anybody looking at this going 14,000 a month? Like what? Here we go. About to so get help me. Go. ADTR. Go. Oh. ADTR. Oh, no. Two words. Everyone gets excited for game seven tomorrow night. Anyone seen the controversial call in the seven TH and go nationals? Yeah, the guy running the base runner, right? Is that he, what was, he was inside the baseline, and when he got to first base, that was the same time the ball was getting to first base. And he ran into the first baseman's hand and knocked it out. So I'm, I don't know if I can pull it back up. I already dropped it, but I, I couldn't tell. Was the concern that he was inside the baseline or the fact, I mean, cause it wasn't where the ball is caught is not the runner's fault. That's not his problem. So the, the dispute I can only imagine is that he was on the inside of the baseline too much. Yeah, I have to look at it. I haven't seen it. I heard about it from everybody. I heard about it, but I haven't seen it. Oh, yeah, it's it's been all over the place. I've been kind of skimming news stories and everything comes up as the seventh inning debacle. Broken Lion says, go to a Celtics game and shit half court. Show your uh, half court. Show your dick. That's a good idea. Like I'll have, <laughs> and I'll have a thing that says Joe Cronin Show, Patreon, whatever the fuck. See, my luck is they'd ban me on Patreon. They'd see that and they'd be like, what the fuck? All right, yeah, you're, you're done. Like, But this girl would get away with it. I get the word travels, word of mouth travels and shit like that. But how in the course of, what, two days, 48 hours I'll, basically I'll from tell you, almost right now, because she's people, people searched found her. her. They looked for her, Drew. They were like, I got to, who is that chick? I'm going to jerk off to her. Like, who is she? And they, they find out she creates content. Yeah. And then they found out, oh my God, I can get like this interactive with like, what's her name again? Oh, uh, Wandy will probably beat me to it, but I'm going to go back to the DMs. That is it, I it's had not Lily, him. is it's, it? Uh, it sounds kind of right, actually. Like Lily something. Do, 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 do. Julia uh, Rose. Julia Rose. Okay, so Julia Rose. So if I type in Julia Rose Patreon, like that's gonna come up. So there it is. Boom. It's like the first thing comes up. Here's her Patreon. Nine thousand nine hundred <laughs> and sixty four. No, nine thousand six hundred and forty two patrons. Holy shit. That is crazy. It doesn't say how much she makes though, but he may have just been assuming maybe five dollars a head because that's kind of the average, isn't it? No, it says here. Um, well, okay. From what I'm seeing, it looks like it says fifteen dollars per month. It says that's the average, or that's her minimum. That's her start. Like it says what? Yeah, it says a, everything says what an arrogant cunt. Everything says join now for fifteen a month, and then it doesn't. I don't see any options. Wow. Hold on, let me. I'm gonna click become a member. So become a member. Yeah, there's no tiers. There, there's no tier list. Get unlimited access to Shag Mag with all her exclusive uncensored <laughs> content. Well, that's like usually how it goes because I know a lot of fucking chicks that are doing that. And like, oh my they God. don't need to put anything on their fucking Patreon. They already got all that shit like through like yeah. snaps and so, boxes and all that shit. They just do the Patreon to get the money. This. So let's see how many posts she makes, though. Um, for how many of those people do you think are virgins? I know, dude. I think some people are intensely serious about jerking off to girls. Like there, there might be fifty. I, I don't know. I always support women fucking using their like okay. using themselves to fucking like so make money. Fuck. Here's the thing: that her last post was October twenty third, and then before that was October fifteenth, and then first. So she's had three posts in October on Patreon. Three posts. <laughs> We, we, but yeah, but she's probably doing stuff all over the other people places. just want to give her but money. But dude, dude, but dude, one of them is a fucking Q and A. Nah, compared to compared to how many posts you taken in one night? What? You know what? I should I should have done a video on her being a dumb cunt, and you know, 
chase her clout a little bit since she chased MLB's clout. So here's yeah. so here's the real number. Let it trickle down. The real number is she's making a hundred and forty four thousand dollars a month for Whoa. three <sighs> fucking things. One is a QA. No, she's not just doing those three things, I'm telling you, Joe. No, I know, but no, she's just doing those three things on I, Patreon. On Patreon, yeah, I know, but I know she's how, doing I, shit on I, the side. I know a lot of people that do this. They fucking they're using every social media kind of thing you can use, no, and I know. they give people like access to their drop boxes and shit, and then they use Patreon uh, yeah. to get the money. Exactly, not, that's what they do. This is crazy. I see people on fucking Twitter all the time. Like she's that. giving something for that fucking money. Trust me. So people if you try to, people aren't that stupid. If you try to sign up for a dollar, would it let you, or does it literally hold you to the fifteen dollar minimum? I don't know, dude. Like I've been on some of these, it makes you do the fifteen. Okay. Wow. So there's ten, almost ten thousand people that have willingly forked fifteen dollars a month over to this chick. That's pretty minimum. Cheap. Depending on how much content she gives them, like to see also, naked yeah. shit that you could get on fucking you porn or Pornhub or some shit. Yeah, exactly. But but it's, her. people people don't want porn stars and shit, man. They want fucking like they want to they want to know like real people. Just they, okay. Well, then just search you know? naked country I chick. I don't know. Whatever. Because I always figured like that's where you find just random people that aren't. Oh, man, like, they're paying this. They're paying this for yeah. just this. Really, it's not. It's not for anything else. I'm telling you. Yep. I've been with other. I've been. I've been. I was on one girl's Patreon because she was a friend of the show. And um, I remember saying to her, she was like, I left her fucking Patreon. And I was like, you know, you really don't offer anything. Like, you post, like, once every once in a while. Like, what the fuck are you doing? They're just collecting money. You know what I mean? It's like, look, my, dude, my Patreon, it's like, Some dude, cases, I'm putting yeah. out. We're putting out four episodes of Corrupted every month. We're hopefully putting out, you know, my me and my wife's podcast. I'm hopefully putting out some Morning Madness episodes. I'm hopefully doing some things that on there specifically for Patreon. It's like honestly well, you, you podcast think, with tommy i'm hoping that like there's exclusive things going on over there this is just like fucking bullshit she could do this q a on pornhub or something or chatterbait if, 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 if nothing there, else if much. nothing else on your patreon people know they can at least guar be guaranteed the four corrupted if nothing else happens to get the four corrupted yeah. that's one more thing than this bitch put out and those things may have yeah, been just a nudie pic. Pics. he's not giving drop boxes of like his fucking body to people. Well, you don't know what that hundred dollar tier is. No one, no one. I didn't know there was a tier. Justin McNeil hasn't told us, you know, what happens up there in that. Uh, uh, oh, oh, you mean Joe's tier guy? <laughs> yeah, that's. Yeah. Uh, that's yeah, like yeah, a house. I'm not telling about yeah. that. Me and Sith Negan and Justin McNeil have had sex. Uh, to be honest, it's just her sending <laughs> personal photos to somebody. It's me. It's that's how she gets her money. It is that, but it's more like uh, they give blocks of them away. That's yeah. kind of what they they don't care if it's like they don't need to spend or ask for more than fifteen because what they're giving away they're gonna get a shit ton of people giving fifteen. God damn, man! Yeah. One uh, one hundred and four. All they gotta do is give a Dropbox of fifty fucking photos or videos, and they're fucking rolling. They're good. Jesus. Everybody just wants to see a nice pair of tits or a vagina or an ass. Oh, wow. so like I said, they also them. offer like yeah. what I see these people do is offer like um they actually do talk to people where they actually meet up with people and shit. They do all kinds of different other things, but like just just people knowing that that's even on the table makes them pay more, even if they never get those things. That's but it's also like what Drew said, you can just look that up on like any right, that, yeah, but it's that's not the same. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's on it's like that. You, you know, I agree with what Drew said. Is you can just look up anybody, but there's people out there that have you know, it's about preference. You know, maybe somebody sees somebody there like that. That's what I imagine my dream girl would look like. Mm -hmm. so 10,000 people? This, yeah. They fork, it, I, I don't know what really to say to you, Drew, but it's no, like. I, 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 I'm, I'm just throwing it out there. I just think it's really bizarre. Like imagine like that many people being attracted to like a, a nice Latino girl with like D-sized breasts. Oh yeah, I like that. Big ass, you know. Imagine her in an Astros outfit with a with the with a hole cut out in the crotch. That could That's be That's the thing is it's it's all about preference. If you imagine that those 10,000 people are imagining that's their dream girl. So it's like they're like I'm going to here's my fucking money. Don't ask questions.
Yeah, I mean, honestly, Drew, the same people, you know, we're sitting here like, oh my God, 144000 a month and like, this is crazy. And it is, it's wildly, insanely crazy. But at the same time, I've had people say that about me where they're like, you do a YouTube show and you just sit in front of the thing and like they, you know what I mean? Like you have, like people are blown, well, dude, like I'm blown <laughs> away that I have 390 patrons. Well, I can't. I- it, I mean, it's all relative. It and happens. There, there, there they are right there. There's the $25 yeah. a month fucking producer level patrons on your screen right now. And guess what? We need about 15 more of them. So sign up uh, if you have money. Uh, 25 bucks a month, man. It's like fucking. It's not a big deal. It's really. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, but no, you can well, sign up for a dollar. I'll probably do that. You're rich. If somebody's rich out there, feel free to do it. Um. No, but what you're saying it's about crazy. the, um, you know, oh, you know, they just see you sitting there and you're not doing anything. E- even in my line of work, th- the rest of the grocery store looks at the cheese shop as the people that just stand there and look at cheese. They don't actually know that the people are actually doing something because they're not moving from one spot to another. They're just standing there cutting cheese. But yeah, um, so, I mean, it, it's relative in, in any line. You look at the. Uh, the warehouse and the person who sits behind the forklift. Oh, you lazy fuck. You don't have to lift a damn thing. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, I mean, it's, it's so relative. Thing, People yeah. just want to throw shade at shit. Yeah. I mean, this is like, yeah. I mean, Hey man, listen, I don't know. I want to be choked to death. Hey, well, for 15 bucks a month, maybe she'll uh, come choke you. Yeah. Choke your chicken. You guys will choke you. Yeah, I mean, I'm very lucky to be where I am. I mean, she's extremely lucky, though. That's insane. But, um, I mean, I'm really lucky to be where I am. But, you know, I keep I'm paranoid about like when something's going to go wrong or it ain't going to work out or whatever the fuck or, you know what I mean? You get enough people shitting on you in videos and making fucking rants about you. And sooner or later, fucking everybody disappears. <laughs> you know what I mean? You never know when the fuck it's going to happen. Um. Uh, I mean, I, I've never lost as many patrons as I lost this week. We, we would be at 400 patrons right now if it wasn't for probably the last four days. Probably be about uh, 420 right now, smoking marijuana Patreon. Um, but, you know, it's just fucking a weird, stressful thing. But, I mean, t- to be where she's at, that's not stressful at all. Like $144,000 a month, that is not, I mean, yeah. like unless she's like buying yachts that we don't know about, that is not stressful. You know, what I mean, I'm doing it too. I'm I'm doing this, but I mean, I'm doing my own show. I'm my own fucking. I'm like a band. I'm like a small indie band who goes on tour, right? Like they make the CD. They have to sell the CDs to their fans. Like they have to sell. We oh we you know you gotta sell fucking because they make like three bucks a fucking copy or whatever it is, right? So if they can sell the hard CDs, then it's perfect. If they sell twenty thousand, they make sixty thousand dollars. They gotta split the yeah. fucking thing between everybody. Like even if you spin it like charging 10 bucks for the cd or eight but whatever if you're actually right. making all the profits from it right and most people are just going to spotify or itunes or whatever the fuck um and then it's like so it's really like you'd, you'd almost make no money like everybody in the band gets like if you're lucky gets like six or eight thousand dollars maybe and then you go on tour you know what i mean then you go on tour and you fucking hope that you know there's 300 people there to see you a night and then you guys get like 1500 from that and then you split that with the band so everybody in the band makes three hundred dollars. Maybe it depends on the band and the situation. It could be smaller than that. It's a lot worse than that, probably. And it's like that's what it is. You're a fucking band. You go out, you tour, you put your own CD out. You go on YouTube, you make a video. You hopefully have a friend or something, or you shoot it on your own phone and you fucking release the video to YouTube. And you hope the YouTube video is picks up steam and people find you that way and like the song. And uh, then you go on tour again and like you hope that you're making your own shit and. Hopefully, you know, in the end, what happens is a lot of the people in the band, everybody makes like thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 if it's a pretty good band and you're living on your own and then you got to pay taxes for uh, self-employed. So it's the same thing. That's what I do. It's like I'm putting myself out there and if people don't donate, that's not good. The show doesn't go well. There's no show. The, 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 the ad revenue, is the ad revenue going to be good? It's not probably not. Um, you know, is Patreon, am I going to get people to sign up on Patreon? The only, the only aspect of all this I'm missing is going live, like touring live somewhere, but there's not enough, you know, I, I, but I don't have enough followers and listeners yet for that. So I've got to come up with ways like I should be doing more videos. I had to do better videos, more videos, make more views. No, get I more disagree subs. with that statement though. I think you could do that. It would just, 
you'd have to pick the right place, like where where you could have because you're right by where a lot of where a lot of states connect, where a lot of your fan base is. Like you'd have to go to a spot where all of them wouldn't have to travel too far, but they could all meet up there. You know, it's hard, man. Everybody's like all if you over came the to the West Coast, you'd be kind of fucked because you got like you got a few fans out here, but like most of you, you got a lot of East Coast fans. I think you could do it over there. It's all over <laughs> though, dude. Honestly, Chicago's a big spot. Chicago's oh, Wandy just spot. sent me a bunch of shit on this chick. I'm beginning to wonder if he's not one of her top patrons. Yeah, he's fucking, he knows everything about her. <laughs> yeah, you gotta jack it off, mate. Oh, you're jacking off, mate. Oh, you I haven't fucking... even seen this person. Is she, like, worth, you know, having a fucking... I mean, she's not bad. She, I, I guess it's a website she runs or something, no, so I there is something she, connected. Is that... an orgasm or what? what is well, well, yeah, I mean, oh, to right. get 10,000 patrons, yeah, I mean... No, I'm saying, like, just... Never mind. I'm asking I guess if I, you guys think she's worth anything. Like, is it like that she even fucking like? I don't know. I want to see one picture where she doesn't have her tongue sticking out. That's my oh, one. See, that would annoy the fuck out of me if that's all. Uh, yeah, she well, does it a lot. That. She does it a lot. But does that, that turn off to you? No, but it's if you're gonna do that every fucking else. picture, it, it shows me your personality doesn't go very far. It's just two. Of of it's only two. Of, two. Two of the nine. I see. A wandy, charge like, your phone. No, oh, come on. I like you know, <laughs> you the same ones, <laughs> but even even in her uh, description or whatever, like you know, on Twitter you get like 160 characters or whatever. Yeah, it literally says link to World Series video. It's like, yeah. man, you she has no shame at all, no like, shame at all. Well, you know, it's funny, dude. Because I wish fucking the only way guys can do this is if they do it like. Uh, Unlike the gay end, like they can't like. There's not straight women out there going like, "Oh, I can't wait to watch these guys rub one or whatever," you know. Like, <laughs> no guy, no woman's gonna pay for content like this unless, like, I don't know. I don't think that really happens. <laughs> Fuck, what's your name? I'm gonna write that down. <laughs> <laughs> I'll look her up. Motherfucker, you got a pen. <laughs> <laughs> you got to be ready when you're on a show. Now, if her tongue's out, that's kind of good. You can print that picture out, and then you could go you, you aim for the tongue like a bullseye. But if you know you hold yeah. off like four times, it's hard. You might miss the paper completely. Jesus, <laughs> <laughs> that would be uh you don't you don't want to be missing, man. You don't want to be. You I, I've, dude, sometimes you wasting. can't help it. That shit will go across the room. It's like whoa. Yeah. The gun go off. Um. Um. I was reading well, something and it didn't make any sense to me. You know what's um, fucked up about this is, you know what? These women can shut the fuck up about their equal rights after this. Yeah. Anytime oh someone God, wants a bitch about their equal that. rights, I'm just going to point out this bitch and be like, you can take your equal rights and shove it up your ass. That's why I fucking like, I, I've actually yeah. tried to like, help people do these that like, I've, they didn't even know it was a thing. And it's like, yeah, you know, you can like do this, right? And you can charge like $50 a minute to just stand there, just to sit on a phone and ignore guys. Just right, right. Like I know we were joking about it earlier, but if I literally started up a Patreon and just showed my dick, yeah, I'd be we'd lucky to get ten patrons, and that's You'd assuming have I have like a, if you did you know, it in the gay in like dick or something. Well, if you had gay fucking, if it was like on the gay, like in yeah, on like gay sites and stuff, you'd probably be a number one seller. You'd have yeah, to have where's a my, wicked where's hot. Where's my equal opportunity in porn, you fucking whore? You'd have to be wicked hot, bro. You'd have to be like a dude right. who like looks dude, so they don't, dreamy. It doesn't matter how hot you are. Women don't do that that much. It's like they're not looking to pay for. They don't need to pay for anything. Yeah, but they do. They the guys do. Uh, the guys do. Yeah, guys, especially yeah, on the gay guys. Yeah, they're all. Some yeah, things. gay guys definitely like that's like even more so. I, uh, dude, my good friend tells me all the time how fucking <laughs> funny it is how desperate a lot of them are, and he's just like, uh, "No thanks, man." Seven. Uh, <laughs> they're like ready to fuck in the middle it's, it's before you even fucking say your name. They're like ready to fuck. Hell yeah! <laughs> Seven two sevens on the phone. Hello. What's up, guys? It's Deity. What up, what Deity? Up? How you doing, Deity. man? What's up, football games tonight? Good. I, I heard about Drew uh, shutting down someone's basic right, so I had to call in. Whoa. <laughs> Go get him. Go get him. He's a fucking conehead. Oh, uh, no, no, no. I'm used to it. Anyways, um, I was just going to say, what a, what, I cannot believe Bailey got this shit right. I cannot believe these fuckers are going to come back. He, he didn't. And, and he, he, he didn't get it right though. He, he said six with a sweep for the Astros, four in a row. He said, and that was that was before the oh. series started. Before the series started, Bailey said, "Oh, before the series started." He, yeah, oh, okay. he said the Nationals are going to get two, and the Astros will win four in a row and, and win the series. 
or something like that. No, he said. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what he said. He so he said game six. I think it goes six. That's what he said. I thought around game two he was just like, "Up, oh, Astros are going to win the rest." I was like, "Well, damn! Like that'd be some crazy shit." And look well, at it now. That's probably why, because he predicted it, but he didn't predict this though. Game seven. Yeah, no, I was going to be like, "Whoa, what the fuck?" Yeah, fucking Bailey, you ain't getting credit for this one. This is Daddy Cronin saying it's game seven. <laughs> no credit to him. <laughs> yeah. Credit to me. Motherfucker. Go back and play the tape, bitch. I'm just fucking around. I don't fucking know. I just can't wait till yeah. the fucking game seven's over and people can stop jerking off to sports. Here we go. I'm about to get it, man. Oh, shit. Here we go. I'm about to get it, man. Andale Peasy. Here we go. Here we go. Andale oh, oh, Peasy. Oh, no. Developing right. a fan base is harder than I thought. New music coming next month. 2020 is going to be a huge year. Stay tuned and get ready for the gook. Get ready for the gook. Andale yeah. Peasy, man. Yeah, dude, I like that Buffalo uh, song. You know what I mean? I, I like that fucking hometown shit that you did. I did, dude, I made fun of the fuck out of it on Monetize This, though. It was funny. I thought that was funny. Did it, was that funny? Like, I don't even know. I thought it was funny, but like sometimes I think shit's funny and people are like, what are you doing? No, I saw you making fun of it. It was pretty funny. I thought it was all right, but it was, uh, I don't, I don't remember it now, but it was something, you know, it, was, it, it went on too long, but whatever. Yeah. Poor Bill's fan. I was like choke on Buffalo fingers and die and whatever. I don't know, but I know peasy, man. Yeah, I hope so. And it is hard. Music is hard, bro. I know because I used to do it and, it's it's like fucking falls on deaf ears. You got to make a real like you've got to be creative nowadays, like to where, you know, you've got to be prepared to make a you got to make a music video that makes people on YouTube, you know, be like, what the fuck is this? You know what I mean? You can't just make a music video where you look cool and stuff like that because nobody's really going to find it. You need to make something that could possibly be found. You know, if you're make if you're already popular, you can make a, mu a music video that's normal, like you guys did, because then your fan base finds it, and they're looking for it, and they're like, "Oh, cool," and I like them. But you need to be thinking about making a making something for people that nobody knows who you are, because maybe because most people don't, right? So, whatever you can do to do that is what you need to do, I including maybe even making fucking doing something else on YouTube. And then plug in your band the whole time, though. You know, whatever you can do using YouTube as an avenue or Facebook, too. Facebook is another thing you could use. But, yeah, I would do something whacked out. You know, the Buffalo thing was a good idea because a lot of people from Buffalo are going to, like, hear that and be like, this is cool. It's about, like, us. That's crazy. Like, if it was a song about Boston, you know, Boston people would, would might like it because it's it's like specific to them. It's It's interesting. Um, so you had the right, in fact, if I look at your Buffalo th song, or I figure what the real song is, let me go look at it. Cause I feel like that's probably going to do the best out of all your songs, all your songs. Yeah. And look at it. It is dude. Look, see like unsan unsanitary. The other one dude, only 87 views, you know, on delay PZ freestyle that did all right. Cause it's a freestyle probably cause you had the word freestyle in it. So people were looking up freestyles. They found you. Um, the, the other video, 300 views, 38 views, 100 views. Yeah. Like, like those are mostly my listeners probably too. Not, I mean, not mostly, but some of them are like that one was, there's like 30 views, but dude, so Buffalo for whatever reason, I don't know what you tagged and like what it was like probably Buffalo people. Um, and I mean, I know I played it on my show, you know, but it, probably only about 40 people came over and heard it maybe. Maybe eighty, maybe forty to eighty JCS people came over, but yeah, your Buffalo video did well because it's about something that could kind of reach out more than than you just being like, look at this. So like, if you, I don't know, like it, like if something was trending tomorrow, like say like fucking, it's hard. You can't really throw stuff like this together. But if something was trending tomorrow, like say the say like the word like biscuit was trending, like because a guy like got killed by a biscuit or something. So then you like, then you made a, mu a music video where like you were getting killed by a biscuit and like the biscuit was like all over you and you were cutting the biscuit. And then you're, you like made a whole song about it and you were like, you know, fucking like you were just like, oh, I'm just going to fucking hit record and be like, yo. Know. 
Why you always killing me? Biscuit, what is up? You're fucking slicing me. HIV in my blood as it lands on your brown soft surface. Put some fucking butter on you for a purpose. Why do these biscuits always gotta get so violent? Oh my god, and all these cops standing around like silent. Why the fuck don't they do something? Shoot this biscuit, help me out. Yeah, instead it's tearing me up, tearing my insides out. Why is this biscuit fucking killing me, killing me? What the fuck is up with this? A biscuit's fucking killing me. Yeah, I'm a disease, get on my knees, gonna please. Does this biscuit as the G spot? I don't feel a breeze as I lay in my coffin. And like, and like, and then you fucking put this video out and people are like, dude, somebody made a music video about the fucking biscuit. Oh my God. Fucking, and it gets like fucking 500,000 views. And then there people start like checking out your other videos and shit. And they're like, oh, this guy's kind of cool. I like these guys. Like, but maybe they don't love you because they wanted more comedy. But like, but, the, but some people who are serious about rap are like, oh, it's cool. And they sub to you. It's like, you got to do something to reach out beyond what you what the norm is because nobody knows who you are like type of thing and unless you have a record company or you're on a tour with somebody else or you're going out promoting the fuck out of yourself locally and through word of mouth your music picks up it's just i don't know there's so many things to do i have so many ideas it's insane it's all running around in my brain right now i've wrestled with the uh artistic bug myself i used to try and teach myself how to play guitar and bass and uh back in seventh grade i started writing lyrics so from seventh grade up until about december of 2018 has been the last time since i wrote lyrics for just i making agree songs. With, i agree with joe he should have done something crazy in that buffalo music video like i don't know write a buffalo or kill one or something <laughs> or like kill something a buffalo. crazy yeah, man. Well, I mean, no, maybe not kill one because you're a Buffalo fan. You got to have extreme drive to like get stuff done. You know, it's it's almost unbelievable. Um, you really got to do that. You have to have this drive. If you just sit there thinking like I was gonna write a song or I was gonna do this or whatever, um, chances are, either you just don't have the drive to do it or you're not good at it. Like that can happen to people, but you never know. <laughs> if you're really good at something, like. You have to be really good at something yeah, yeah. and then have the drive. I'm a gunnery mix, the faggot car, lol. Thanks for the pointers, Cronin. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I got well a played. faggot car. Well played. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. See, that could have done well. Probably could have gotten me well, see, killed. You know, to your point, and maybe this is kind of similar, but if you can hone in on a city as well. So like say with that bagel guy or whatever, if you did a rap about yeah, uh, long Island bagel guy, you called it long Island bagel guy. And you did a rap on that mm -hmm. 10,000 easy. Right. Exactly. Yep. N and now, not now. Look at Lil, it's too long now. Look at Lil Nas X with the old town road song. That fucking song. I mean, are you yeah. kidding me? And it that was number, number one, one for like, yeah, 19 weeks. It, it broke a uh, Mariah carrying boys to men's record. That yeah, stood for 25 fucking, fucking years. Ever since you called Heist Man the N-word, he took off, man. What did you do to him, Drew? <laughs> no, I, I know where he's. I actually talked to him today. He's uh, He's got some personal shit going on. Oh. Ew. Oh. That sucks. Yikes. I haven't talked to him in a while, so I don't know. why That sucks. I didn't know that. He's plotting Drew's death. Yeah. He's not the only one. I mean, what? <laughs> he might be. Yeah, there's a lot of people that want to kill you. And by the way, uh, Andale Peasy, man, thank you for those donations, dude. Appreciate that. Jesus. I almost read that out loud, Drew, you fuck. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh. Anyways. Well, listen, I think we're going to wrap it up, baby. Play that fucking bagel song. But yeah, the bagel guy would have been good. <laughs> bagel guy would have been great. Hey, he, he wants to steal everyone else's clout. Steal his. Fuck it. Steal this motherfucker. Dude, Jesse still got that vape. That's illegal in my state now. Jeez. There's a reflection on Jesse's glasses that make it look like he's got that Dudley tape. <laughs> oh, wait. You really got tape on your glasses, don't you, Jesse? Oh. What are you going mute? Classy. Sexy. Well, I like it. All right. Jesse, get the tables. 
<laughs> he does kind of look like Spike. <laughs> See, you got him there. You broke him on that one. Jesse Dudley. I like that. Yeah. You, know? you really do kind of look like him. And Spike yeah, trained yeah. me kind of too. So you, yeah, you, could you, be, you could be the next cruiserweight champion in like a year. We'll call you Little Dick Dudley. Yeah. <laughs> I'll call you Tiny Dick Boy. I'm going to call Ooh, you actually God. Tiny Dick Boy is what I'd like to call you. <laughs> Listen up, everybody. We got Tiny Dick Boy here. You like to see Tiny <laughs> Dick Boy? What I'm going to do is I'm going to shave every pubic hair off a of Tiny Dick Boy, and I'm going to feed them to the baby ducks down the pond next to me. It's like this is some guy feeding <laughs> pubic hair to fucking ducks. The fuck is this? What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh man. Here right now. It's, it's pretty overwhelming. All right, listen, I appreciate it, guys. Thanks for being here tonight. Uh, Drew, Jesse, and Barracoda, and everybody else who called. Love you. Hey, uh, hey, Joe, before before you get off, could, uh, yeah. could I ask <laughs> oh. uh, before you get off, could, could I ask for one, one drink with you? All right, well, I'm drinking this gay ass white claw. Super chat. Everybody in the chat. You know, I would cream no pie Alexa Bliss, and when she's pregnant, oh I would stab her in the stomach and kill the baby because of the three most destructive letters RKO. Jesus Christ. <laughs> People in New Zealand are fucked. Holy fuck? shit, dude. Holy fuck, dude. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Yeah, cut her up. Um,. <laughs> no, thank you for the Cheers. five bucks. Cheers, Barracoda and Drew and everybody else. Motherfuckers. Boom. Don't look at my channel. Thank you. Don't look at my channel for the donation, man. I appreciate it. Love you all. We had fun jerking each other off. Please choke me to death. No, I'm just kidding. Good night, guys. Good night. I love you. Barracoda, motherfucker. I'm gay. Keep a Drew. All right, motherfucker. Good night. I had a fucking horrible week. I had a really depressing last couple days. I, uh, actually a week, a really horrible week to this week. I'm hoping next week is better. And, uh, it's, uh, what a piece of shit. Fucking the world is a piece of shit. Uh, tomorrow is AEW review. And then Thursday is out of nowhere on my Joe Cronin Show channel, my other channel. And Friday night, it's Monetize This. Monetize This Friday. Last week was fucking great. This Monetize This this Friday night needs to be badass. We need to bring the fucking insanity this Friday night, man. Last week was good, was great, but we need, to, we need to do better than last week even. Where am I we got to kill it. Where am I oh, my Where God. Am I ah! Right now. Holy shit. It's Halloween and word. <laughs> it's Halloween. Halloween. All motherfucking Uncle fucking ween. You just change it to fucker, you know? It's Halloween, fucker. It's Halloween, fucker. It's all a motherfucking Uncle fucking ween, fucker. It's Halloween, fucker. It's Halloween, fucker. It's all a motherfucking Uncle fucking ween, fucker. Yo, shout out to Triple M in the, uh, in the chat. Uh, Triple M. Cheers, cheers to you, Triple M. Uh, cheers to you, John Zippe. John's in the chat. Tiffany Rodriguez. Why did Tiffany lose her wrench? I don't understand that. I'll give you back your wrench, Tiffany. I don't know where the why you lost that. I never took it away. I mean, I've taken it away from people just so they didn't have to deal with the shit. But I didn't. I don't remember taking it away from you. Who the fuck was that? They just dropped ten dollars at the end of the show. Deb as Deb A's trouser. <laughs> what the fuck? What in the fuck? I have to go look at who that really is. Because that, that's got to be. <laughs> oh, I see who it is. His name begins with a. Well, I won't give it away. But I love you, man. Thank you for that. Till Death Do Us podcast. It's on Patreon, Awandi. You got that right. Um, me and Leah put up a we. I put up a post for for questions for uh, Till Death Do Us podcast with me and Leah. Uh, we did part one, so if you haven't asked a question on there, ask, and we will get it answered. And that show will be.
popping up for you. What's today? Saturday. So Saturday, uh, till death do us podcast will be up on Patreon. Um, which is weird because corrupted will be out that night. So you have in the morning till death do us podcast. And then at night as always corrupted podcast. So yeah, check that out and shout out again to everybody who dropped a couple donations. Woo. And, um, to all the $25, uh, producer level patrons on the screen right there. Thank you guys for keeping the fucking show alive, baby. Oh, Parker. Why'd you give it away, man? I wasn't going to give you away. Uh, Parker, I wasn't going to give you away, man. I saw it was you. Thanks, man. Crown Jewel is tomorrow. is Thursday. Thursday, I wanted. Jesus, it's out near you. Thursday, man. Um, but yeah. Thanks to uh, everybody that... Uh, thank you, guys. See you... Uh, Was I going to say something? Was I, I was going to say something. I don't know what it was, though. What was I going to say? Purchase your tracks today. I don't remember. Ah, uh, fuck. I don't remember. I like you. Thank you, Parker, man. I saw you donated a lot, too, recently. Uh, under different names. Thanks, man. Thanks, buddy. I forgot what I was going to say, so I'm just, fuck me. I don't know. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I will, uh, I'll get the, I'll take the pills. I will take the pills. Have you ever wanted to commit suicide? Have you ever wanted to give your mother a ride? Purchase your tracks today. AEW is filled with boring, vanilla midgets that have no charisma. AEW should hire Alex Riley, Mason Ryan, and Ryback. Real men. Thank you, Joey. Well, I think they could use a little bit more help, no doubt about it. Don't look at my channel. Thanks for the five dollars, man. The super chat party. Thank you, sir. Thank you guys for these donations, man. They keep the shows alive. They keep the shows alive. Don't look at my channel. Thank you. Don't look at my channel. I agree. Purchase your tracks today. Purchase them. Windy got its. Don't look at my channel. Look at my channel. Don't 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 look at my channel. I got pictures of little fucking baby dolphins with dildos wrapped around them. Don't look at my channel. 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 I put the fucking rubber dick on my fucking private parts. <laughs>